has gone. Let's turn it off. Oh, Bubba Cobb, Dyer County's going to get the ball first, and what do we got to do to uh, to kind of punch these guys in the mouth when we start? Well, both teams running a spread offense, so we need to move it down the field. I don't know uh, how well they're going to – their defense is going to be against our spread, but they're accustomed to it. And we, but we need to move it down the field. We need to take care of it. Uh, Jeffrey Taylor's had a huge game his last last game we had. Uh, he really ran the ball well, and we need to put some more passing in there that, to go along with that. But it looks like the Dyer County Chautauqua will be moving from our left to our right, and we're in all white uniforms with the orange numerals, white helmet. Well, McCracken County is in there maroon. And I'll tell you what, they, they celebrated senior night tonight, and they have like, what, 23 f seniors on the team this year. Yes, and they, they do. they've dressed out over 90 players. Well, in 2,100 students uh, in Dyer County, we've got, what, about uh, 1,200, you 1,200, say? yes. And so this uh, is going to be a good night. Jeffrey Taylor is uh, back along with Dion Thompson. And Samuel Paulus is the kicker for McCracken County, and he's approaching the ball, and he kicks a long High kick, and it's going to land almost out of the end zone when it hit, and it goes on through the end zone. So it's going to be a touchback for Dyer County. So Dyer County will take over on their own 20-yard line, first down and 10, first possession. Beautiful kickoff by Palace. Tell you what, we've seen some good kickers this year. Yes, we certainly have, and, um, and of course, I don't want to take anything away from Trent Uhas, but uh, that kicker we saw up in uh, Clarksville. He, he was a dandy. He sure so was. So we'll come out with Bo Garner at quarterback and Jeffrey Taylor at running back where you have two wide receivers to each side. First down and 10. First offensive play of the ball game. As move back in a little tighter. As we now we have one wide receiver to the right side. Garner gets the ball. Hands off to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try the left side. He's going to get across to the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's running down the sideline right in front of the Choctaw bench and knocked out of bounds. And let's see, they're going to spot it about the 44-yard line. So a 24-yard run by Jeffrey Taylor, and that gives us a Henson Insurance first down. Of course, our kickoff was brought to you by First Choice Farm and Lawn. Well, let me tell you right there, Jeffrey Taylor is quick, but the offensive line created the hole for that run. That was excellent blocking. It was, and we got them to jump, and it's going to be a five-yard penalty, and it should be against McCracken County. And that's what it is. So it'll be a five-yard penalty stepped off against McCracken County, so it's going to be first down and five for Dyer County at their own 49-yard line. Well, that's what we were talking about in the uh, in the pregame. If uh, Dyer County could just come out and punch them in the mouth right here, just kind of put them on their heels, that's what we need. Jeffrey Taylor right up the middle. He's crossed the 50, crossed the 45, and brought down, and he's got enough for another Henson Insurance first down as he gets down to about the 43-yard line of McCracken County. Are they going to spot it right at the 43-yard line? So Dyer County on the first two offensive plays have moved it smartly into McCracken territory. We have two running backs in the backfield along with Bo Garner and shotgun. Gets it, hands off to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try it up the middle once again. He gets across the 40-yard line and then form tackle there as he gets to the 39. He is pushed back, but he got across the to the 39-yard line. Of that was 40. a beautiful tackle by uh, number seven. That is uh, Ethan, uh, Ethan Sheriff. They've got – they've got uh, – Two platoons. They've got a full offense and a full defense. They don't go both ways here. Of course, when you dress out 90-plus players, you, you don't have to. Wide receivers to each side. Two runners in the backfield along with Garner. Garner gives off to the second man. He's going to get maybe a yard as he gets hit right at the line of scrimmage and falls forward for that was Hunter Taylor on the carry and picked up down to the 38-yard line. One-yard pickup. So it's going to be third down and five for Dyer County. 10-38 remaining in the first quarter. No score as Dyer County's taking the opening kickoff and moved it into their territory. Passed over here, to, and it's going to be incomplete as Deion Thompson has it, and he's juggling it, juggling it, juggling it, and he well, gets hit. Yeah, he tried to run with it before he had it, yeah. unfortunately, but, there. And but he was still trying to juggle it and bring it in and couldn't do it, and then he, when the defender made contact with him, he lost control of it altogether. So fourth down and five yards to go for the first down for Dyer County. That was the first pass attempt. 
And it was a wonder we didn't have that one picked off. We threw into a crowd. Man in motion coming to the right side. And they jump off side. And Did that, it again. And that's going to be a close to a first down. It'll be very close. We've got to get the ball to the 33-yard line. And that should should give it to us. Uh, it's going to it's gonna depend on the spot on the previous uh, run. They got it. Say. They yep, got it. They marked it. First give down. us a hits and insurance first down. That's the third one of the game. So we moved it down inside to the 33-yard line of McCracken County. 10-28 remaining in the first quarter. No score. Dyer County, their first possession. They took the opening kickoff. It touched back to the 20. And now we've moved it smartly downfield. Hand, uh, hand off this time to Jeffrey Taylor, and he's going to be thrown for a loss back on the other side of the 35. They're going to spot it at the 36-yard line as they got penetration, and Jeffrey Taylor couldn't do anything about it. So a loss back to the 36-yard line, loss of three. Dyer County coming out with two wide receivers to the right side, one to the left, caps on the left side. See Deion Thompson and Hunter Taylor here on the right side. Back to pass to Garner. He's looking. He's giving the ground. Makes a pass, and it's going to be short, and it's going to be incomplete. That was uh, for Aaron Whittle. Whittle. Yeah. Aaron Whittle, and he short hopped it. Brings up third down and 13. As Bo Garner got a lot of pressure that time. We're going to be depending uh, both in the running game and the passing game on the offensive line to uh, give Bo Garner some time. Got he him. doesn't have quite as quick a release as does Jake yeah. Willis. but Pass over the left side. Oh, he ran before he caught the ball. He had it in his hand and took off running, and he didn't pull it in. And hmm. it's going to be incomplete. Brings up fourth down and 13. Yeah, um, that, now, that's the Deion Thompson did that a minute ago, and then, of course, Bryce Capps right there. Uh, well, doing it, uh, Aaron Whittle just missed his. Are they going to have to have a bring it in before you start running? That's right. Fourth down, 13. We're going to be going for it a lot on fourth down yep. because our uh, kicker will uh, be out for the season, as I understand. And Caden Stafford. Yeah. Dylan Franklin taking his place, but we're going for it on fourth down. Fourth down, 13. We're going to have a timeout here. Bruce Hayes communication timeout. Charge to Dyer County. So let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Hi, I'm Craig Ezreal, President and CEO of First South Financial. At First South, our members trust us with their paychecks, their savings, even their futures. That's why we offer a complete line of banking services, ranging from checking and savings accounts to home, auto, and personal loans, with lower rates, flexible terms, and no hidden fees. Experience the positive difference of banking with First South Financial. Banking with friends since 1957. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Fourth and 13 for Dyer County, and they're going to go for it as they have the ball at the 36-yard line. Back to pass. Garner, he's going to be pressured, and he's going to go down. Yeah. He's going to be thrown for a loss back at the... Uh, 41 yard line. It's going to turn the ball over on downs. So it's going to be first down and 10 for McCracken County High School as we were thrown for a loss on the fourth down attempt. 9 40 remaining in the first quarter. No score. McCracken County now having the ball for their first possession of the night. Taking over on their own 41 yard line. The quarterback. Well, as you mentioned, the key to this, too. Go ahead. The sophomore quarterback, Wheat, he hands off to number four. That is Allen, and Allen <laughs> breaks it up the middle, and he's going to pick up enough for first down for McCracken as he picks up 11 yards on the play, gets it down to the 48-yard line of Dyer County, and they quickly get up to the line of scrimmage and get ready to snap the ball. Wheat passes it. It's complete out to the tight end, uh, Mays, and he gets it down to the 43-yard line. So Skylar Mays picks up enough for about, what, a five-yard, six-yard pickup, and they're quickly back up the line of scrimmage. Roll out this time. Wheat, he's going to look, 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 throwing long downfield, and we've got a man down there with him, and it's complete down at the 10-yard line. 
Franklin Hayes catches the ball down to about the 10 yard line and goes out of bounds, about the 15 yard line, goes out of bounds about the 10 yard line. And boy, I tell you what, they come out, they come out ready. Uh, they get up there and they snap the ball too soon as they weren't set. You're going to have a illegal procedure against McCracken County as they weren't, re they weren't set. Well, I'll tell you what, they run a spread offense, but they get up there and run it in a hurry. Well, and here's the thing, too. With Dyer County playing guys on both uh, offense and defense, that's going to be an awful lot of running for our team yes. in the second half. Yeah, and after a, a, an off week, that might show how good a condition we're in real quick. Yeah. As they have the man in motion, if we has it, he's going to pass to the man in motion, and he overthrows, and the ball goes out of bounds. It was incomplete, so it's going to bring up second down and gold as the ball is spotted right at the 10-yard line. and they not Play able, was there. He just led him a little too yeah. far. They're not going to be able to pick up a first down before they're going to have to score or we get the ball back. Wheat has it. Hands off to the first man through. That's uh, Allen, and he's going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage and no gain. And they might they mark it. They give him a, about they, a two-yard loss. Yeah, yeah, so they're going to mark it as a loss on the play as – we get the penetration at that time. And they're going to bring the ball back and spot it. About the 12 yard line, uh, looks yeah. like. So, third down. Wheat has it. He's back, and they're going to blow the whistle, and they've got another flag on the play. I don't think we jumped. I think maybe another procedure call. Yep, procedure penalty against. So, this. Well, they're going the wrong way in a hurry. We'll take it. They had it They had it first and gold at the 10, and now they have it third down and gold from the 21. So at the 21-yard line, third down and, and gold for at the 21. 8.34 remaining in the first corner, no score. As McCracken County has two wide receivers to the right, two to the left, one running back in the backfield, shotgun formation. Wheat the quarterback. He has it. He's rolling left, looking back right. Ball is thrown. It's complete. And he's going to get up to the 15-yard line. And, oh, he just pop, moves a pile close to the 10. Franklin Hayes, he did a good job catching the ball. And a good job after they made contact with him at the 15-yard line. He pushed the pile forward and it's down at the 13. And they're going to come in and attempt the next uh, field goal. And that's Powis. It'll be a 30-yard uh, shot. Ball is going to be spotted at the 20, and the kick is up. It's plenty long, but it's no good wide left. So the 30-yard field goal attempt was no good by Samuel Palace, and the ball is going to go over, and our county will have their second possession. 7.57 remaining in the first quarter, no score, and our county will have their second possession here. And our county turned it over on downs uh, on the – McCracken side of the 50-yard line, but uh, not much on the 48. So Dyer County's second possession is going to start exactly where it did on the first, on the 20-yard line, on their own 20. First down and 10 for Dyer County at their own 20-yard line. We've got one wide receiver to each side. We're keeping the second running back in the backfield with Bo Garner. And in the past, that's primarily been for blocking purposes. Good idea. Yes. And we put a man in motion, and we stop the clock. Delay, Delay a game. game. Dyer, Dyer County. County. So that's going to be the first penalty on Dyer County. And should not happen after, no. after no. possession. After a possession change. you got. And, and they've got the, the play clocks on each end of the field. So we should be looking at it. And notice how well you can see the uh, down marker. Yes. LED. Mm-hmm. Nice. Right. We can see it quite clearly from here. <laughs> yeah. First down and 15 as the procedure penalty marked off against our County. Ball at the at their own 15-yard line. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try the left side, and he's going to get a little yardage, but he's going to be piled up as he gets about the 18. Got a three-yard pickup that time. As McCracken's linebackers came up that time and did a really good job. They closed the hole in a hurry. So it's going to bring up a second down and 12 after the three-yard pickup by Jeffrey Taylor. Two wide receivers each side now for Dyer County. 
Back to pass, looking to screen up the middle. Gets it over to Jeffrey Taylor. He's got it at the 20, 25, 30, 35, and going to be taken down about the 36-yard line. Nice pass up to Jeffrey Taylor and picks up enough for another Brian Henson insurance first down. As they move the chains once again, that time was a screen up the middle, and that was a good time for it because we've had pressure the other three pass attempts we'd had. And that time we let them come in, threw it right over the top of them, and Jeffrey Taylor had a little running room and picked up enough for the first down. They spot the ball at the 35-yard line. So it's going to be first down and 10, pass to Jeffrey Taylor on the right side, and he's going to get taken down as he loses a yard on the play as he's a little flare pass, and he tries to get out side of it, and gave ground, gave ground, and brought, brought down for about a yard loss on the play. Second and 11 for Dyer County. Linebacker core for the McCracken County is not only big, but they're quick. Extremely quick. They close in a hurry. And as we said, you know, they, they platoon, and they have entirely different teams on the field for the offense and defense. Second down, 11 for Dyer County. Garner back to pass, looking to the left side. He passed it. It will hit the receiver in the hands, and he cannot. Is that Deion Thompson? Deion Thompson, yeah. And he couldn't pull it in. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Third down and 11 for Dyer County. Bo Garner, two for five, uh, 18 yards. And well, both completions to Jeffrey Taylor out of the backfield. Well, they they come up in a three and four man front and a lot of active linebackers in there. So we haven't had anybody really wide open yet. Third down and 11 for Dyer County. Man in motion coming from the left to the right. Garner back to pass. Looking, looking, looking. He gets some pressure. Throws it out. It's complete at the 38 yard line. Gets across the 40. Up close to the 50 yard line. He's driven out of bounds. It's going to be enough for the Brian Henson first down. That was uh, number eight for Dyer County. Number eight, Dylan Franklin. And that's going to bring up. That's first down. That's a Henson insurance first down up to the Dyer County 49-yard line. 6-12 remaining in the first quarter. No score. As Dyer County picked up another first down. Got two, two backs to the backfield along with Garner. Hand off this time with the first back through, and that should be Hunter Taylor, I believe. As he gets across the 50, picks up about two yards on the play to the 49. Hunter Taylor picks up two yards on the play. Six minutes remaining in the first quarter, no score. Bo Garner leading the Choctaws into Mustang territory. Beautiful facility here as artificial turf, big board at the end. Yeah, but our Jumbotron's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hand off this time to Hunter Taylor. Uh, he's going to try the left side. He gets across the 45 before he's hit and knocked back. Well, he was going to try that off tackle on the right, and he saw there was nothing yes. there, so he had to cut back quick and did, and he made something out of nothing. And they're going to spot the ball at the 43-yard line, so a nice pickup that time. Is, back it, five yards. Yeah, so it brings up third down and about two yards to go for the first down for Dyer County. That's two running backs in the backfield. He's one on each side. And handoff to Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor stutter steps at the line of scrimmage. Gets outside. He picks up enough for the first down and gets out of bounds. As they're going to mark the ball at the 37-yard line. Enough for a Henson Insurance first down. And Jeffrey Taylor, he saw he wasn't going to get anything where he was supposed to have gone. So he stutter stepped, went back, gave ground, gave up a couple yards, and then cut it outside and bounced out of bounds. And and kids, if you're trying that at home, that's not wise to do unless no, no. you have the speed of Jeffrey Taylor. Yeah. And, uh, and speed and agility. Yes. Going to back to pass, looking downfield. Nothing there. He's going to roll over, pass it downfield, and it's deflected and Almost falls incomplete. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't have anything. He started moving to the left and stopped and made the throw. So it's going to be second down and 10 for Dyer County. 451 remaining in the first quarter. No scores. Dyer County is at the 37-yard line of McCracken County. McCracken County, a very large school, and then won the region here in western Kentucky in 2013, 14, 15, and 16. 
We got a timeout. Uh, coach is going to call timeout. Yep. Dyer County takes a Bruce Hayes communication timeout. So let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Are you in the market for something new? Hi, I'm Chastity Norville, a lender with Security Bank. We are a community bank with over 85 years of lending experience and success. Whether it is a new car or a small home project, we can help you. We also have a variety of other services for you and your money. Come by our Newburn location and let me see what I can do for you. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Got to be paying attention, Bubba. Caught me with a nice cold drink of Pepsi oh, in my right. mouth there. Glad to see a Pepsi Sorry about scoop. that. All right, time out on the field. Dyer County coming back after talking to Coach Will and the coaching staff. Got a play from upstairs. 4.51 remaining in the first quarter. No score. Dyer County at the McCracken County 37-yard line. Second down and 10. Man in motion. Garner back to pass. Looking. Oh, he tried to throw it. Now he's going to throw it away, and we'll probably have an intentional ground. Oh, no, Jeffrey Taylor was over there. Yeah. Oh, was so, he? Yes, okay. he was. He came, he came back. As a matter of fact, okay. He came back when the ball was in the air. He had to come back to get it. So that was a heads-up play by yeah. Jeffrey. And, of course, Bo Garner getting rid of it. He was in the well, grasp. Well, see, I thought I thought he was just getting rid of it to get rid of it to keep from taking the sack. But I didn't see Jeffrey over there. Good eyes, Chuck. Mm-hmm. So it's going to bring, bring up third down and 10. And that was a good move on Bo Garner. He's going to roll to the right side this time, looking downfield. And he's going to pass it over short. And it's going to be complete. But we're going to pick up only two yards. Pass was complete to Aaron Whittle. And it's going to bring up fourth down and what about ball is spotted right at the 35-yard line. Fourth down and eight. Dyer County is going to go for it as we can't kick that far. Jeffrey Taylor. Oh, Jeffrey Taylor's going to throw it. A halfback pass. we got a man open. Over the shoulder catch, and it's a touchdown to our county. Bryce Camps. Yes, Bryce sir. Bryce Camps, and he was wide open. A beautiful. Is that two, two touchdowns that Jeffrey Taylor's thrown this year? That is it. Boy, I'll tell you what. And and we were talking to Coach Whittle when he was talking to the officials here, and then he said, we've got a halfback pass. We don't know whether we're going to call it or not, but we'll let you know. And they call it. He pitched back to Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey P- Taylor lays it over the Shoulder, and that was one of those over-the-shoulder catches by Bryce Caps, and it's a touchdown, Dyer County, a thirty, what, thirty, thirty-two yard, thirty-two uh, yard catch. touchdown, and we got a flag on the play. I'm sorry, it was a thirty-seven yard, touchdown. thirty-seven yard touchdown pass, and we've got a flag on the play for the extra point. Dead ball offsides against McCracken County. Hmm. There we go. They lined up offsides, so. And many times they decline that and just go ahead and leave everything like it is set up. But they're going to talk it over and see what they want to do. We're going to decline it, it looks like. Yeah, because we want to kick it where we're used to. Yeah, Don't yeah. move the ball. Uh, yeah. Well, Trent we Haas has got a great leg from well, right there. We spotted at the 10 yard line, and that's where he wants to continue spotting. So. Don't want to Trent, change any of the mechanics. Trent Johans in to f- attempt the extra point. Snap a little low. We're going to try running for it, and it's no good. So, well, Yeah, the snap was low, and uh, all that uh, uh, Jake Willis could do is just get up. Okay, the West Family Care so. Clinic touchdown by Bryce Caps, and then the extra point. Solid seam- seamless gutters extra point attempt was no good, which leaves Dyer County on top. Six to nothing with 4-3 remaining in the first quarter. Let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dark County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. We make sure you get what you need. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. The best service. The best price. Folks who really treat you nice. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. Historic downtown Dyersburg since 1947. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. 
back here at Marquette Stadium here in McCracken County High School, Paducah, Kentucky. Dyer County has gone on top 6 to nothing with 4.03 remaining in the first quarter. And the first choice farm and lawn kickoff by Trent Johas is coming. A short kickoff is going to come down, be taken at the 15-yard line by McCracken. Gets up the 20, 25, 30. Cuts outside to the 40. And he's going to be brought down about the 45-yard line. So a good return that time by McCracken County. Tayshawn Allen, who is there, Spreedster, as we saw in one of the runs earlier, the first snap they had on the offense. They're going to spot it right at the 45-yard line. First down and 10 for McCracken at their own 45-yard line. They had no trouble moving the ball downfield until they got to the 10-yard line, shot themselves in the foot a couple of times, so we'll that's, see how Dyer County's defense does That's this one time. of those bend-but-don't-break defenses. Back to pass is Wheat. He's getting a little pressure, flushed out of the pocket, going to throw it over here to the left side, and it's going to be incomplete. As the receiver over there was Kreider, and it falls incomplete for a second down and 10. Tell you what, we gave a little pressure, and he started... Bailing out of that pocket pretty quick. Brings up second down and 10. It's 45. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Two running backs to the backfield. Wheat has it. He's going to hand off to the first running back, Allen. He's going to get across the 40, 45 to 50 uh, into Dyer County territory, and he's going to be brought down about the 38-yard line. And he is a little speedster. He certainly is. Uh, number 21 for Dyer County in on the, uh, in on the tackle. Allen's a 5'8", 162-pound senior, and they quickly get back up to the line of scrimmage. Low snap, handoff this time to run a little jet sweep, and he's going to get up to the 35-yard line before he's brought down. Mazio for the carry for Paducah, I mean for McCracken County here in Paducah. They'll quickly get up the line of scrimmage. Roll left to the left side of Wheat. He's going to stop. He's going to pass it downfield, and the ball is caught, and he goes down right at the 32-yard line. Vanderford gets the catch, but he goes down as soon as he catches the ball. And it's a short pickup as they had now have the ball at the 32-yard line of Dyer County. Third down and four for McCracken. Back to pass once again. Throws it over to the... Left side, and he catches it, gets across the 30 and gets out of bounds. See where they're going to spot the forward progress. If it was on the sideline, I can't tell. The coach is over there saying they got the first down. Let's see what the referee says. But it doesn't matter what the coach says. Yeah. You're right, it's the referee. Oh, give it to him. Oh, he says there's enough for the first down. He agreed with the coach. <laughs> All right, there's, uh, that's four first downs for yeah. the Kraken County mm -hmm. Mustangs. So it's first down and 10 for McCracken. The ball is spotted at the Dyer County, what, 28-yard line. Just sweep once again to the right side, and he gets across the 25 to the, down to about the 20-yard line, and inside the 20, it looks like. Franklin Hayes as Deion Thompson come up, made the stop for Dyer County. Pickup of eight for McCracken County. Dyer County on top, six to nothing. Two thirteen remaining in the first quarter. Man in motion, going to hand off. Hayes has it. Uh, Allen has it. He's going to try the right side, and he's going to get down to about the 15-yard line. If he does, that's enough for the first down. So they pick up another first down. As the ball is going to be spotted at the 16-yard line of Dyer County as they move the ball quick. They get up, and they snap it, and they move. Wheat has it, throws over to the left side, and it's going to be overthrown. As he had a man in the flat, and he just flat overthrew him. Hayes was the intended receiver. Brings up second down and 10. 154 remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County on top, 6 to nothing, with McCracken County threatening here. They got down here earlier tonight and went for the field goal and missed it. Wheat the quarterback. Try it again. Yeah, back to pass, looking. Throws across the middle, and it's going to be caught at the five-yard line, and it's going to be thrown down. And he gets about to the four-yard line, but his completion is enough for the first down. Brings up first down and gold. The freshman Josh Stewart made the tackle for Dyer County. Let's see where they're going to spot the ball. About the four-yard four line. 
First and goal from the Dyer County four-yard line. As they have a wide receiver spread out here, way wide to the left side. The ball is on the right hash mark, and the wide receiver to the left is way past the hash mark on the left side. Quick, look like he's going to pass, hands it off to Allen right up the middle, and he goes across for a four-yard touchdown run. Tayshawn Allen for the quick touchdown for McCracken County. Allen is the 5'8", 162 speedster. As we did a really good job of faking like he was going to pass the ball and then brings it back, hands off to Allen, and he gets the four-yard touchdown. 6-6, six, six, where our score now, 127 remaining in the first quarter, and McCracken County lines up, and they're going to go for two. And we're going to have it, and he's going to run option play to the right side, and he's going to be thrown for the loss. And I would think that, that as strong a kicker as Pilots was, that they would go with. That they would have should have kicked yeah, it, yeah. yeah. But they went for the two-point conversion, and it was no good. And they tried a little trick play. They had the center quarterback and running back lined up right behind the ball, and the rest of the team was lined up to the way outside to the left. And Nonetheless, it did not work, and we have a tie ball game, 6-6. Six, six. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is our County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Ready to quit smoking? Cole Chiropractic is not just spinal adjustments. Dr. Cole uses auricular therapy along with nutrition to provide a fast, safe, and painless way to stop smoking. Stop giving yourself and your family excuses as to why you cannot stop smoking. For less than $200, you can be on your way to kicking butt. Smoking literally affects every organ in the body, so don't <laughs> monkey around with your health. Decide to be smoke-free and call Cole Chiropractic for more information. Troy Avenue, Dyersburg, 731-285-2696. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. And don't monkey around with McCracken <laughs> County. <laughs> no, McCracken County tied the ball game up 6-6, and they will now kick off to Dyer County. Uh, last time it went through the end zone, this time it's going to go into the end zone in about the same spot. It's about seven yards deep in with the end zone. With a leg like that, you wouldn't have kicked the extra point? Uh, we'll go for the lead. Man. and uh, man. It's all right. well, Anyway. Uh, that, that ball went eight yards deep in the end zone when it hit yep. and went on through. Of course, when it crossed the goal line, it's a touchback automatically in high school football. You cannot return it. That's mm -hmm. right. So Dyer County has the ball for the third time tonight, first down and 10 at their own 20-yard line. There are two drives. Uh, first one turned over on downs at the 48 and then uh, came back and scored on a Jeffrey Taylor 37-yard pass. So first down and 10, Dyer County once again. Wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right. One running back in the backfield along with Garner. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try the left side. He bounces out once again. Tries to get it outside. He gets across 25, and he's going to be driven out of bounds about the 28-yard line. Nice little run again by Jeffrey Taylor as he bounced it outside. Gave a little ground and then bounced it outside. And nothing there where he was supposed to run. So he picked up. They're going to spot it. About the 27-yard line, so second down and three. Seven-yard pickup that time for Jeffrey Taylor. As the team is standing there looking, getting the signal from the sideline. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Man in motion from the left to the right. Hand off Jeffrey Taylor to the right side, and he's going to go right up the middle, and he's not going to pick up much as he is met. As he well, they're gonna give him down to about the 29 yard line, it looks like. Mm. So, a two yard, uh, I don't know where yard. his forward progress came from, but but a yard and a half, it. he needs about a half yard for the first down now. No, so they're gonna say the 29 and a half yard line. So, a short one yard to go for the first down, 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County and McCracken tied up 6 6. Dyer County up to the line of scrimmage. Two running backs in the backfield along with Garner. He's going to hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor gets across the 30. He gets to the 35. He's outside to the 45, and he's taken out of bounds about the 46-yard line. Nice job once again, Jeffrey Taylor. And they're going to spot it right at the 35-yard line. Another Brian Henson insurance first down. Of course, I think we, we missed a while ago with the first-choice farm and lawn kickoff. Sometimes we have... A, Forget to get these spots in. First down, Dyer County. 36 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Ball at their own 45-yard line. 
One running back in the backfield, Jeffrey Taylor. He stays in and home to block, roll out, pass across the middle, and it's going to be intercepted at the 48-yard line, and he's going to be taken down at the 49-yard line. Tyler Mays made the interception, making the tackle for Dyer County was uh, Chad Caps. Oh, I, th I thought that was going to be a good pass as we had a man open across the middle, and apparently he threw it just a little short, and he was picked off by Mays and returned back to the Dyer County 48-yard line. So first down and 10 for McCracken County, 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Tie score 6-6. And Derrick Cannon was moving the ball once again. Time quarterback hands, hands off the first man through. That's going to be a different running back. That's not going to be Allen. That's going to be number 22. Hamby. Hamby. And he was a much bigger running back. That's the way I noticed that, <laughs> that wasn't Allen. Yeah. And he gets down to the Derrick County 39-yard line. Four-yard pickup on the play, second down at six, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. So here at the end of one, let's take a one-minute break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. Save money and plant a tree. Dyersburg Electric encourages you to plant trees to shade your home and your air conditioning unit. Save money on your utility bills now and in the future. Another way to save is to purchase appliances with high energy guide ratings, ensuring that your appliance is hard at work to save you money. Consider a security light on your property too. These energy saving lights can help keep you and your home safe all year long. Dyersburg Electric, your hometown utility, bringing you safe, reliable electricity. Sonic's Cheeseburger and Handmade Onion Rings have been a classic duo for years. Almost as long as these classic duos we can't legally say. Like Bonnie and <laughs> Jekyll and and Romeo and With Sonic's Car Hop Classic, you can get a cheeseburger and onion rings for $2.99. It's Hey, you weren't supposed to bleep that part of Seriously, can we stop with the bleeps? The Sonic Car Hop Classic for $2.99. It's That's worse. Okay, I kind of like that one. Tax on included. See menu for details for a limited time only at participating Sonic drive-ins. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. Back here at McCracken County High School, we back to pass, and he's just going to throw it to the ground as he was getting a lot of pressure in the backfield. The ball was thrown out there, and they was going to root it incomplete. He was about 15 yards short of his nearest receiver. He was just getting rid of it. He was chased. Yes. So it brings up third down and six. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 44-yard line. Third down and six. That was the first play of the second quarter. Dyer County and McCracken County tied up 6-6. Senior night here at McCracken County. And a, a fair crowd here, but we were expecting a much larger crowd. We were expecting a packed house, but it's about halfway full. Back to pass. We got putting pressure on him. He flushed him out of the pocket. He rose to the left side, going to throw it downfield, and it's going to be incomplete. And a good job there by the Dyer County defense. It is four sweet out of the pocket. Flushed him to the left, and he just threw it away, really. He's not, uh, he's not very accurate on the run, I've mm -hmm. noticed. If he can stand in the pocket and uh, get one out there, he can complete it. But he is 5 of 12. He does have 68 yards through the air, but he has uh, struggled while rolling. So it brings up a fourth down. Fourth down and six. And they bring in the punter. And we have two guys going deep. And a good snap. Good high kick, going to come down at the 16-yard line and Good bounce, golf shot. Bounce, bounce straight up and comes back down. And That's your gonna, golf shot when yeah, it hits the yeah, green yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't hit the green. <laughs> <laughs> Ball is going to be spotted at the 18-yard line at, at about a two-yard kickback as the ball hit about the 16 and came back to about the 18-yard line. It's going to be first down and 10 for Dyer County at their own 18-yard line. 11.40 remaining in the second quarter. Tie score 6-6 as Dyer, Dyer County comes out. One right receiver to the right side and none to the left. Hand off this time to the first running back, Taylor, through, and he's going to get across the 20 and gets up to the 23, and then he's going to be banged back. And they're, going they're going to give him his forward progress. At the 22. About three. Yeah, so about a three-yard pickup by Jeffrey Taylor. And unusual formation as we come in with tight ends. 
Mm. One wide receiver to the right. Looks like Glenn over here as a tight end on the left side. Two backs in the backfield. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor up the middle. He's going to bounce it out to the right side. Gives ground. Gets back to the 35. Gets, I mean, across the 25. And gets to about the 27-yard line. As he gave ground once again, this time to the right side. Yeah, but he is a – he's like catching a greased pig yes, back there. Yeah. He had three guys ready to tee off on him, and he squeezed through all three of them well, that, and that, actually that, turned a negative into a positive. Yeah, he was going to get tackled back for a loss, I thought. Yeah. And then he, as it turns out, has a nice little pickup on the play, breaks it up uh, third down and a uh, long one, short two. And off once again, Jeffrey Taylor, he's going to try the right side, and he's going to get up. Let's see where he's going to mark the ball. I think he's going to be spotted yeah. up at the 29-yard line. If it is, that's enough for the first down. And they're moving the chains. Another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County as the ball is spotted at the 29-yard line of Dyer County. First down in 10 once again. 10-23 remaining in the first half. Tie score 6-6 as uh, Dyer County had a low snap on the extra point attempt. And they went for two and didn't make it. This time a handoff to the left side, and it's going to be thrown for a loss. As Jeffrey Taylor did not have a chance out on that play. They got penetration, and he couldn't bounce outside on that one. We're not going to give him no gain. Uh, lucky to get back to the line of That's scrimmage because right. they got penetration that time and brought him down. Second down and 10 for Dyer Cairns. The ball is spotted still at their own 29-yard line. This time we line up with two wide receivers to the left, two to the right, one running back in the backfield. Garner, quick pass over to the uh, right side, and we were lucky that that wasn't intercepted as they came up quick to cover Deion Thompson. And Deion lost his helmet, so are they not going to make him go? Out of the game? I thought he I did. Think he does. Yeah. Are they going in for him. Because they didn't knock it off uh -uh. of him, I don't think. Well, it, it came loose. And he came off, and I think it was loose, and he just went ahead and finished taking it off. But regardless, the helmet came off, and you have to go out. He wasn't going out on his own, and I didn't see the officials come over to tell him to. But well, the, Coach Whittle did. Yes, like he knew he should. Hand off up the middle. This is Hunter uh, Taylor. He gets across the 30, up close to the 35, and breaks outside, across the 40. And I'll tell you what, he did a really good job of not getting caught in there. And he kept bouncing down, kept his legs turning, broke away. And got across the 40 down to the 45-yard line. Another Henson Insurance Company first down for Dyer County. And Hunter Taylor really did a good job that time picking up the first down. I thought he was going to go down and for a short pickup. And he just kept moving. And he wouldn't be taken down. 9-13 remaining in the first half. Dyer County, McCracken County tied up 6-6. Uh, this time... He's Hunter Taylor once again has the handoff, but this time he's going to be taken down for a loss as he is hit right after the handoff as they get penetration once again and take him down for a one-yard loss. Ball is spotted at the 44-yard line of Dyer County. Well, they're blitzing those linebackers yeah. uh, quite frequently here. And those linebackers are quick. Yes, they are. And they're going to try, try it again. They had two people coming forward. They didn't come across the line of scrimmage, so they're going back. But it upset their timing, and Dyer County didn't snap the ball. This time Garner has it. He's looking downfield, fakes the pass, rolls out to the right side. Now he's going to be, oh, he's going to just throw it out of bounds. So that and could be intentional. That's going to be right intentional because yeah. he just threw it away. And instead of taking a sack, and he should have taken the sack, I guess, instead of the. Yep, there's the flag. Yeah, I saw him throw that flag it's when he threw the ball out of bounds. Tends to grounding. So. And that's loss of down, too. Yes, so uh -huh. that's going to be third down now, I believe. No, nope, second down. Second down. That was second down, so this will be loss of down. Be third. It be third down. Yep. Okay. But they haven't done it. They're just talking over the captains. And then stepping off from the 40 yard line, or the, well, the 44, I guess. Ball is going to be spotted back at the Dyer County 36-yard line. Third down. Third down and 18 from the Dyer County 36-yard line. We have to get to the 45-yard line of McCracken 
8.23 remaining in the first half. Dyer County, McCracken County tied up 6-6. It's going to be a, a screen pass over the right side, and I mean left side, and that's not going to work at all. We didn't have any blocking. The blocking was out in front of the defenders, yeah, but of the we have, we're going to have an illegal procedure penalty against Dyer County as we were moving. So the penalty against Dyer County. So, so are they going to take the penalty or, or the or the play? I mean, it'd be fourth down if they took the play. They, yep, they declined they, it. It's going to be fourth. Like it. It's going to be fourth down. Decline the penalty and take the play, which is a loss, and it's going to bring up fourth down and a ways to go as the ball is spotted at the 37-yard line of Dyer County. We've got to get to the 45-yard line of McCracken. So it's fourth down and 18 for Dyer County as Dylan Franklin in to kick for Dyer County. And they have a return man back at the 28-yard line, and that might be deeper than they need to be. But they've got several people short, too. Good snap. Oh, a high floater going to be taken down at the 35-yard line. He gets by the first man, gets by the second man, but he doesn't get by. Oh, and we've got flags coming in everywhere. Uh, I don't know whether face mask or clipping. Which one was it? Not sure. They're talking about it. But there were flags coming in from everywhere. So more than one of them saw it. So yeah. I'm going to assume it was true. A return up to about the 42-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. So It'll be on us. Yeah. 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 So that's going to move it back into Dyer County territory. As the So now it's going to spot them another 15 yards yeah. as take Dyer the ball County. down to the Dyer County 40-yard line, first down and 10. Well, that's a 15-yard major penalty. And, yeah. and they move it into Dyer County territory. 8.02 remaining in the first half. 6-6 our score. As McCracken County going to start this drive at the Dyer County 40-yard line. Two wide receivers to each side. Ball is spotted on the right hash mark. Bring back man in motion. He gets a pass outside. He gets past the first man at the 40, across the 35 to the 30, and taken down as he picked up the first down. But that was Allen, Tayshawn Allen, as he went in motion from his tailback position. Went to the left. Good pass out there to him, and he made a couple good moves. Got past two defenders. Finally taken down at the 27-yard line. Hands off this time to Allen once again. He gets across to the 25-yard line. Tayshawn Allen is their tailback, and he runs the ball a lot. 43 so, yards on six carries so far tonight. Pick up two yards on the play. They have a man in motion, and he, what do they got? Did they have two men in motion at the same time? Illegal procedure. So right. it's going to be a five-yard step off against McCracken County. They've had five penalties, all for five yards. Yeah. Brings the ball back to the 30-yard line. It's going to bring up second down and, what, 13. As they have two wide receivers to each side. Allen, the tailback behind the quarterback, Wheat. Elijah Wheat, the sophomore quarterback. Man in motion. We'll throw it down downfield, and he's got a man wide open at the 25-yard line. Makes a catch across the 20, down to the 15. We can't bring him down as we're trying to strip the ball from him. He just keeps gaining yardage. Instead of trying to get him down, we're trying to strip the ball from him, and he just keeps going forward, and they get down inside the 15-yard line. They're going to spot the ball about the 13-yard line. First down and 10. Well, they spot it at the 12. First down and 10 from the Dyer County 12-yard line. 7.01 remaining in the first half. 6-6 six, six our score. And we have the officials talking together. We're waiting on a signal. Dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike contact, Dyer County. Dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike, McCracken County. That's going to offset. So we had a personal foul on each player. And I thought I saw a flag come down, but I never saw it after the power. Power. It cleaned up. So offsetting penalties, unsportsmanlike con conduct. Each team 
First down and 10. McCracken at the Dyer County 12. Wide receivers to the left side, one to the right. Went in motion, Allen. He's going to roll to the left side. Going to throw it over to the flat to Allen. He's going to get it at the 10-yard line and race in. And they're going to say he was he out of bounds. At, the one. at about the one-yard line. But there was a flag, and it's going to get, be against McCracken County. And then I got a feeling we're going to take that. I would think we would. And I didn't. I didn't see the call, but it looks like he's walking back to the well, original I, I, line of scrimmage. I didn't so. see what he called. But I saw the as a little procedure. I saw the emotion against McCracken. Okay. Another five-yard penalty against McCracken County. Six penalties, thirty yards penalized against McCracken County. A lot of penalties, not much yardage, but they've all been mm -hmm. five yard, most of them procedure penalties. Well, and two of them resulted in Dyer County first downs, too. Yeah. So, First down and 15, back in now at the 17 yard line. 646 remaining in the half. Tie score 6 6. McCracken now at the Dyer County 17 yard line. First down and 15. Allen, the tailback, goes in motion to the left side. We're going to pass out to him once again. It's going to be incomplete. They thought they like that play. Uh, he, they've been incomplete several times, but a couple times he's made that completion and moved up and picked up a lot of yardage. Well, he was out there again wide yeah. open. He just led him a little bit too far yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the flat there. And so it's going to be second down in 15. As the ball is spotted on the right hash mark, they've got a receiver way left of the left hash mark. They've got two running backs in the backfield. One of them goes in motion. Weiss going to hand off to Allen. Allen gets up across the 15-yard line, and he's going to be brought down as he just gets across to the 15. Tayshawn Allen, once again, ball carrier. 47 uh, carry, uh, yards on seven carries. Picks up two yards, gets the ball down to the 15-yard line. Second down and 13. Third down, 13. As the ball is at the 15, they've got to get it all the way down to the Dyer County two-yard line for the first down. Man in motion from the right side, the ring by the end on the right side. And, of course, we jump then. Mm, 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 mm. Don't that's, need that. And that's, going, and that's going to give them five of it back, so it's going to bring up third down and eight. This time from the Dyer County 10-yard line. Ball spotted down at the Dark County 10 yard line, third down and eight. They can get a first down without scoring. Man in motion once again. The wide receiver on the right side going in motion to the left. Now they've got trips on the left side. They've got eight seconds remaining. The quarterback week comes up, talks. Oh, they shut snap it back. And they've got a reverse going on. And the quarterback's going to be open in the end zone. A pass to him, and it's going to be a touchdown. And a little trickery that time by McCracken County and Wheat is the receiver, the quarterback. Wheat is. And that was, was that Tayshawn Allen who threw it? No, I don't think it was Allen who threw it because it wasn't it the well, it was wide receiver. I thought it was a running back that the, back came there back. that snapped it to him. Well, but the, he rolled to the left and passed, pitched it back, and they're going to try a kick for the extra point. Uh, Dyer County trailing now 12 to 6 with six minutes remaining in the first half. Good snap. The kick is up, and Palace's kick is, is good. So now we have a 13 to 6 deficit to McCracken County with six minutes remaining in the half. Let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. Any hour? It's a revolutionary idea that happy should not be limited to one hour. It's about enjoying good times and great values at McDonald's. For a limited time, any size soft drink is just a dollar. A small McCafe shake, frappe, or smoothie is two bucks. And a refreshing medium Minute Maid slushie is $1.49. Where do you get happy any hour? At McDonald's. A la carte only. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. 
Well, a uh, Paducah answers, or I should say uh, McCracken County answers with a uh, touchdown. And that was uh, on a, what, 55-yard drive. Yeah, and they took over. Well, actually more than on, that. On the 40-yard drive, they That's took right. over on, on the Dyer County 40 because they had to punt return to the 45, but then they penalized us down to the That's 40. Right. That's right. So it was a 40-yard drive. So we have a first-choice farm and lawn kickoff coming up with Samuel Palace will be kicking off for McCracken County. Six minutes remaining in the first half. Dyer County trailing now 13-6. to six. As Dyer County scores on a trick play, and McCracken County comes back and has a little trick play themselves. And let's see where Palace. Can, oh, he's going to onside kick. It comes over, and Dyer County falls on at the 38 yard line. Heads up play for Dyer County by number 23, Nick Butler, the senior. And Nick Butler does a good job of falling on it. And we have the ball at the our own 47 yard line, so that's by far the best field position we've had because we've taken over on our own 20 and the other three possessions. So much better field position as McCracken County has kicked off into and through the end zone the other three times. Going to has it pitched back to Jeffrey Taylor, the right side. He's going to give ground, gets outside, and he gets across the 50, the 45, and goes out of bounds. And he just stops. As soon as he gets out of bounds, he stops. Yeah, Jeffrey Taylor, he's uh, saving his motor. He's been playing a little offense and defense, but he's been doing a lot of things. Jake Willis steps in to quarterback for Dyer County here, and that was his first play from scrimmage. And he looks like he's a yard short of the first down, so a uh, nine-yard pickup on the play by Jeffrey Taylor has moved the ball down to the 44-yard line of McCracken County. But, I mean, when he got to the sideline, he stopped. I guess he wanted to make sure that if they hit me, they're going to they know it's out of bounds. Garner back to pass, looking, throwing it deep on the right side. Got a man over there, and oh, it's going to be. a flag, yes, sir. And we're going to have interference called down at the 10-yard line. He had Deion Thompson down there, and uh, Jake Willis just uh, led him perfectly. Deion had to go up and get it, and those catches he normally makes. But somebody got uh, – in his pads along with him, and that's going to be a 15-yard major and another Brian Henson first down for Dyer County, and we have 10 all here in the first half. Already in the first half, I should say. Yeah. They're going to bring him back to the line. Scrimmage step off, you know. They're going to step it off from the line of scrimmage back at the 44-yard line or 43-yard line. You know, so many people watching high school sports, they they confuse the, the rules. And, you know, they want mm -hmm. the ball. You know, the interference occurred at the 10-yard line. They want the ball down at the 10. Well, yep. that, is, that doesn't happen. Nope. It's a 15-yard from the original line of scrimmage, yep. first down. But it's a hits an insurance first down for Dyer County. It's to move the ball down to the 29-yard line of McCracken. Hand off Jeffrey Taylor. He gets by the first man through, and he's still trying to go outside and nothing there. Uh, there was a man that met him in the backfield. He got past him, and then he ran sideways for a little while. Well, he snuck in there. He yeah. was kind of hiding behind his blocker, number 78, for Dyer County, and uh, he just kind of hid in there and then exploded out. That was uh, Chase Bailey creating the hole for that one. Ball moved down to the 25-yard line, so we were lucky that we weren't thrown for a loss, and he picked up, ended up picking up three yards on the play. Second down and seven for Dyer County. Pitch back to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try the left side. He cuts back inside off tackle, gets in, makes uh, two or three yards on the play. He is 10 yards short of the century mark on 15 carries. Well, he was a workhorse last ball game, and he's been a workhorse again tonight. Well, they've needed him. Yeah. We got uh, LaQuentin and Wells is out, so he's going to have to carry the, carry the water tonight. Caden Stafford is out. Third down and four for Dyer County. Ball spotted at the 23-yard line of McCracken County. Hand off to Hunter Taylor. He's going to try to bounce it outside. He's going to try to get to the corner, and he picks up enough for the first down as he gets across the 20-yard line and knocked out of bounds. Hunter that Taylor. That misdirection play uh, works yeah. uh, sometimes. Of course, they've, they've sniffed it out a couple of times, but that, everybody in the stadium was expecting Jeffrey Taylor to get the ball. Yeah. I like the little counterplay. Another Brian Insurance, Brian Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. The ball is spotted now at the 17-yard line of McCracken County. 
First down and 10. Hand off Jeffrey Taylor up the middle. And he fights and gets across the 15 down to about the 14-yard line. And those were three tough yards right up the middle for Jeffrey Taylor. 93 yards on 16 carries, Jeffrey Taylor, here in the first half. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Dyer County trailing 13-6 to six now as we're now getting close to pay dirt once again. If mm -hmm. we can continue pushing we're down to 12 minutes on the play clock and we're still looking at the sideline getting the play. Two running backs to backfield. When Jeffrey Taylor gets a handoff and he's going to go across the middle and he's going to get down around the 10-yard line. Another couple of tough yards there. Brings up about third down, a long three for Dyer County. 317 remaining in the first half. Dyer County trailing 13 to 6 as we're once again knocking on the door. One right receiver to each side. We got and they jumped off sides. There's the flag, and it looks like Dyer County is going to get five yards closer, and that will be an automatic first down. Let's 35 yards on seven penalties for Paducah, I mean for uh, McCracken County, and three of those penalties have resulted in Dyer County first downs. Well, that's another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Dyer County at the five-yard line of McCracken County, and we've got a timeout on McCracken Bruce, County. Bruce Hayes communication timeout for McCracken County. So let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. You feel like you have to sneeze, but then that feeling goes away. Yeah. Break out the Pepsi. When your parents join your favorite social media platform but don't send you a friend request. Ooh. Break out the Pepsi. When you're trying to impress your coworkers while in Paris and you order un baguette à jambon and the waiter actually brings you un baguette à jambon. Sors la Pepsi. That's French for break out the Pepsi. Pepsi. Berg's Beverage, your locally owned hometown Dr. Pepper Pepsi bottler for over 80 years. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, two minutes and 56 seconds till we get to halftime here. And uh, Bubba Cobb, Dyer County's knocking on the door, first and goal at the five-yard line. And Cracken County Mustangs wanted to talk it over. Yes, they did. They want to see if they can get a, a stop here on Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor's just been a power runner tonight and showing some speed to the outside as well. So we need to punch it in from here. Jeffrey Taylor gets it. Going to bounce outside, and he's going to he's going outrun to, to yes, the end sir. zone. He's going to run to the corner of the end zone. Five-yard touchdown run for Jeffrey Taylor as he started to go inside, and nothing there. So he bounced it out, and he saw the pylon, and all he had to do was outrace him to the pylon, and he did. Dyer County now trailing 13-12 to 12 with an opportunity to tie it up here. With a yeah, they're going to go for it this Trent time. Trent Uhas extra point attempt. We need to get a better snap this time. Last was a little low when we tried to run for it and didn't make it. So Trent Uhas lining up. Good snap. Kick is up. The kick is good. Yes, Tie sir. ball game, 13-13, as we had the uh, Jeffrey Taylor had the West Family Care Clinic touchdown and then Trent Uhas comes in and kicks the solid, seamless gutters extra point. Tied the ball game up 13-13. We have 2.49 remaining in the first half, so let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dark County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. The city of Newburn wishes the best of luck to the Dark County Choctaws this football season. Newburn has the best of both worlds. An amazing high school with smart, talented students and an historic downtown with a variety of shops and businesses that keep Newburn thriving. Don't forget to stop and visit the historic train depot right in the heart of the city. Take a walk or catch a ball game at Oakview Park or just take the kids to play. The city of Newburn, a great place to call home. Go Choctaws! You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Jake Willis leads Dyer County for their uh, second touchdown of the night, and now we're all knotted at 13 with... Two minutes, 49 seconds to go here. 
The trouble First is, pass. they have two minutes and 49 seconds left, <laughs> yes, and they they, they've moved the ball against us, too. Now, we've stopped them some, but at times, they've moved it at will. So, Trent Uhas ready for the First Choice Farm and Lawn kickoff as they have four players back in the little square at the 10 and 20-yard line. Uhas short kick. Pooch kick over, taking about the 38-yard line, and he's going to get it up to the 40-yard line and brought, brought down. Let's see. So, Byer brings the ball. Byer brings the ball back up, and let's see. They're going to spot it about the 41-yard line. With our county, if uh, they can hold on defense here, would like nothing better than to go in tied at halftime. Fields made the tackle for Dyer County, so. We had 2.43 remaining in the first half. Let's see what the Dyer County defense can do. You think they might throw the ball here? Um, yeah, probably. I, I, you know, I don't think they're going to do anything that's going to get it maybe a pick six, but uh, they may take some safe plays right here. Ball on the left hash mark. Running back in motion to the right side, rolling to the right side. Going to throw it downfield. He's got a man open, and Deion Thompson's going to intercept it. Yep. Intercepted at the 25-yard line. Does a little dancing and stepping around. Gets away from three men. Gets up to the 30-yard line. Holds on the football. Gets away from everybody, and he's got a sideline over the other side. 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, and taken down inside the McCracken County Territory. Great job by Deion Thompson on the interception, and then a great job not being tackled right after he intercepted the ball and made a great return. The 25, 35, 40, and 40 we're yard get return. An opportunity to see that one again. Look at there. Deion Thompson uh, picks that one off at about the uh, 21 yard line, and look at that dance right oh, he, there. Oh, he's getting away from everybody, buddy, and he's not. Ran down the other side. So it's going to be an opportunity for the Dyer County Choctaws now to break this tie. With 2.22 remaining in the first half, uh, Jake Willis, the quarterback for Dyer County. Jeffrey Taylor, running back, gets a pitch on the left side. Hayes couldn't get open there as he gets back to about the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage to the 32. It might have been a slight loss on the play. Well, they did exactly what we thought they wouldn't do. <laughs> We were they were hoping they wouldn't do. Well, Deion Thompson turning into a, a pretty good defender back yes, there, he has. as he made the interception, and of course he's used to catching the ball and running after the catch. All right, Dyer County, 150 remaining in the first half. Time ball game, 13-13. Ball second and 10 at the 32. McCracken, Willis rolling to the right side. Got plenty of time. Stop looking back, and he oh he had plenty of time. Oh he did throw it downfield. And it was complete, and. It's going to Who be close that? to the first down. I don't know. As he was, he caught the ball and was knocked out of bounds. It's going to be short of the first down. He looks like. Was it Taylor? Like Hunter Taylor. Uh, Hunter yeah. Taylor. Oh, and they've got a man down at the forty-yard line. And they have a player down, back at the forty-yard line. I didn't see what was going on back there. It was, and that's. Is that going to be, they got second down marked, but it looks like it's uh, Brian Henson first down, but it's going to be an injury timeout, so we'll break, uh, take a Bruce Hayes Communications 30-second uh, break. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM. FM. This is Patty Williams from Johnson Williams Funeral Home in Newburn. At Johnson Williams Funeral Home, our goal is to provide the highest level of service while maintaining the level of professionalism that has come to be expected from our firm. We realize that each family's needs are different and our staff is dedicated to answer all questions and respect your choices. Johnson Williams Funeral Home, proud to be serving the Dyer County area for 60 years. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, they've uh, gotten the player uh, off. That is uh, number 13. Andrew Vanderfort, yeah. one of the seniors. He, he and his brother, both are seniors. I guess they're twins. But Dyer County down at the 23-yard line, third down and one. Minute 35. they got plenty of time to get this done. Jake as, Willis at quarterback. As the ball is on the right hash mark, we have a wide receiver over here. Bryce Camps way to the left side. One wide receiver to the right. Running back Taylor, Jeffrey Taylor, behind Willis. 
Handoff to Jeffrey Taylor, and he's going to bounce it around. Oh, and he's going to be thrown down as he gets across. Is it enough for the first down? <laughs> he didn't need much for the first down. and You're going to give him fourth and one. Nope, he didn't get it. He needed a long one. He got a short one. Mm -hmm. As it's fourth down and a short yard. I think I would have asked for a measurement. Yes. No, oh, and time and, to figure it out. Well, I think they are going to measure. I would ask and when it's that close. I'd ask for a measurement because they're supposed to. Yep, and use that opportunity. Mm -hmm. to... If you're short, you got time to think about play you want to call. If it's not, you still got time. Stretch the chains. First down, looks like. It yep. is a first down. Yes, sir. That's, that's, see, that's why you asked for the measurement. That's a Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. Number 12 on this uh, this uh, first half. Pretty good first down production tonight. Mm -hmm. Ball is spotted at the McCracken County 22-yard line. 126 remaining in the first half. Tie, tie score, 13-13. Jake Willis, the quarterback for Dyer County. Jeffrey Taylor moved over to the right side. Willis has it. Quick pass to the left side. It's complete, and it's going to be a short pickup as they're going to snow Deion Thompson under out way out there. Uh, it's going to be, if he got back to the line of scrimmage, that's going to be close. And, yep, they're giving him the line of scrimmage. So I keep waiting for the fake that short pass and for him to go long because they've come up and covered that pass pretty well today. 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Deion Thompson's longest reception was from the other quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 43 seconds remaining in the first half. With his hands off to Jeffrey Taylor, he dances and stutter steps around, gets up to the 25, 20 yard line. Another short pickup, though. That's We're going to call another timeout. So we have a Bruce Hayes communication timeout for Dyer County. So let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. FM. Hi, I'm Craig Ezreal, President and CEO of First South Financial. At First South, our members trust us with their paychecks, their savings, even their futures. That's why we offer a complete line of banking services ranging from checking and savings accounts to home, auto, and personal loans with lower rates, flexible terms, and no hidden fees. Experience the positive difference of banking with First South Financial. Banking with friends, since 1957. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, only 34 seconds left in this one. It is uh, third down and about, what, seven for Dyer County to go for the, or a long seven, actually. But 34 seconds left. But, yeah. We, we, we don't have many snaps left. No, we don't. Uh, no. We are getting very close to in uh, Trent Uhas field goal range, but we'd like to come away here with seven if possible. Yeah. Ball spotted at the 19-yard line of McCracken County. Third down and seven. Jeffrey Taylor in the backfield. Snap back to Jake Willis. He's going to throw it over to the left side. It's going to be complete down around the 11-yard line. It's going to be very close to the first down. Let's see where they mark it. And, and they, it's, they may they, have to measure they, this one, well, too. They're moving the chains. Woo. Oh, they, they're going to call it finally. The guy, okay. they marked it past the chains, and, and the chain gang was fixed to move, and they stopped and waited to the referee to motion first down. So another hence an insurance first down. Jack Willis back to pass looking. Throw it across into the end zone, and it's going to be Deion Thompson. He catches the ball, but we got yeah, an interception. We, yeah, well, oh, we got an interference call. Interf well, but it may be on Deion. He may have pushed off. We'll wait and see. We're going to wait and see. Let me see where the white hat is and see what he's asking. What did you have? We we had a we had a completed pass in the end zone, but we had yeah. a flag. What was the flag for? And he's going to tell us right now. Pass interference. Defense. Against McCracken we'll County. And touchdown is the result of the play. He didn't say that. But that's what it means. And he sets the ball down for the Trent Uhas point after as so, Dyer County takes a 19-13 lead, Bubba Cobb. West Family Care Clinic touchdown here. Now they're going to call it. He, he, 
He calls. He calls. Oh, well, we're going to have it. Uh, penalty enforced on the extra point. I mean, the kickoff, I think. Gotcha. That's what he said. 19 to 13 now. Trent Uhas attempting the solid seamless gutters extra point. Snap. And he couldn't control the snap, and his extra point attempt is no good. So here, with 22 seconds remaining in the first half, Dyer County is leading now 19 to 13. So let's take another 30 second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Chantal Football on Jack FM. Are you in the market for something new? Hi, I'm Chastity Norville, a lender with Security Bank. We are a community bank with over 85 years of lending experience and success. Whether it is a new car or a small home project, we can help you. We also have a variety of other services for you and your money. Come by our Newburn location and let me see what I can do for you. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, the Deion Thompson interception sets up a 38-yard six-play drive as Dyer County under two minutes. Uh, took them under two minutes to get it done, and they get the touchdown. Extra point, uh, no good, but 19-13 your score and Dyer well, County. At the end of the interception, it was 222 remaining on the clock. Right. Now it's, uh-huh. now it's 22.7. So, as you said, it was you know, less than two minutes. So, the penalty enforced, there was a – Interference call in the end zone, and they penalized it on the uh, kickoff here. The first choice farm and lawn, and the, uh, you hear the McCracken County fans arguing, oh, no, no. But they, they stepped off the penalty on the kickoff, as the official said. Kick from the 45. Is that, so that'd be a, that'd that's be a 15, 15-yard penalty. That's right, from the, for the 40. Inter- that's right. Yeah. So Trent I Uhas, that. I'm testing you. Yeah, yeah. Making sure you're on the ball. Let's Trent Uha is kicking off from the 45-yard line of McCracken County. And it's a good high kick, and it's going to go into the end zone, and it's going to be a touchback. So that's good. So Dyer County starts, uh, has McCracken County starting this possession from their own 20-yard line. Now we talked a while ago what McCracken County was going to try to do with 227 remaining and or they whatever. they did exactly two, two, what I said they shouldn't do. Yep. Yeah. 235, I think, was when they took over possession, and we had it back at 222 after the interception. So Deion Thompson was playing defense and offense at the same time. Did a good job of intercepting, and then he caught the touchdown pass. So he made the interception and then ended up scoring at the end of it. So with 22 seconds left, Dyer County playing defense once again as McCracken County has the ball at their own 20-yard line, spread out all over the field. Wait the quarterback. He's going to try a quarterback draw right up the middle, and he's going to get across and get a first down as he gets across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. When the clock stops to move the chains. And it should start immediately as soon as they get it spotted, and they did. This time he has running back. Allen in the backfield throws a little flare pass out to Allen, and he's going to be hit, and he's going to be brought down at the 34. The first man hit him about the 32, and they wanted some kind of flag. I don't know what for. Well, it was for celebration as uh, Dyer County just got up and, and, and shook a little bit, but I think he was doing it toward his own his own player and not taunting the, the McCracken County player. So and thus ends the first half. And at the half, Dyer County leading in the ball game, 19 to 13. So let's take a three minute break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. We make sure you get what you need. You said it. King staying home. Uh, you know, like I say, a couple of times we tried to strip the ball instead of uh, instead of uh, putting them down. Putting them down yeah. uh, just get back to the fundamentals, and uh, we're in this game. As a matter of fact, we're leading it, and uh, this could be uh, something that could help us out right here. So we've got uh, we're going to give McCracken possession here and start the second half. That's right. Uh, they they deferred. They won the toss and deferred. And we got the opening kickoff, and now we'll be here and yes. perform. And, and McCracken County's band, you know, they're on fall break, so they, they didn't perform tonight. And, it, and it's a better crowd for McCracken County than I thought it was early in the ball game. I looked down there and before kickoff, and it didn't look like the ha- stands were half full. And I looked back uh, before halftime, and it, it was a pretty good crowd now. There's not many people in the stands now. I think they all went down 
they've got a pretty good concession, concession stand, stand. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. So two hamburgers yeah. and a Pepsi before we start. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty good stuff. That's they right. All I need is a recliner, and yeah. we got nap time. <laughs> yeah, well, after the game. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. But uh, they've got a decent crowd here for break. A lot of folks out of town now, as Dark County was last week. But Dyer County will be kicking off to start the second half. McCracken County will be taking it, and we'll have the first choice farm and lawn kickoff momentarily. They had to swap sides of the field because uh, McCracken County uh, picked the other side of the field yeah. when uh, they deferred. Dyer County took the ball. So they'll be kicking off from the 40-yard line, and Trent Uhas will be doing the honors. And once again, they'll have two two return men on the 20-yard line and two on the 10 as Uhas doesn't kick as deep as their kicker does. And last time he poots kicked it and he was taken at the 40 and brought it up to about the 41, 42-yard line. So let's see what he does to it this time. It'll be the first choice farm and lawn kickoff. Franklin Hayes and Deshaun Allen back deep for McCracken County here in Paducah, Kentucky. This will be the Dyer County's last non-region ball game of the year, as the next two opponents will be regional opponents. Trent Yell, Yo Haas kicks it over a little pooch kick, takes it at, oh, over his head at the 35, and it's going to be take a stop. That picked up to 25 and run out of bounds. He should have let it go out of bounds. Yeah. That ball was going out of bounds, and he didn't let it go. He wanted to get on it, making sure that Dyer County didn't get back on it. But we Stopped could, it from but, going out of bounds, but they're going to have to take it now at the 26. But I, I think they touched it up at about the 35. Oh, ball. did they? Yeah, okay. that guy okay. jumped up and almost had it, but it went through him, through his hands. and So I, I think that's what he was thinking, that it was going to be – out of bounds at 26 anyway. So it's first down and 10 for McCracken County at their own 26-yard line. Man in motion going to the left side, hand off to Allen. He's going to get across the 25 to the 30. He's breaking loose at the 40, and, uh-oh, we got problems here. He's to the 40 and the 30. we got one man, an opportunity to pull him down from behind, and he can't do it. He goes all the way in for the 74-yard touchdown run by Tishon Allen. So that ties it up 19-19, buddy, and that didn't take long. 11:46 remaining in the third quarter, and Tishon Allen goes 74 yards for the touchdown. And now they cut, they line up with center quarterback in the middle of the field, and then they switch back, and now they're going to go for the extra point kick. Palace. Puts the kick up, and it's good. So with 11.46 remaining in the third quarter, McCracken County now on top 20 to 19. Let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. The city of Newburn wishes the best of luck to the Dyer County Choctaws this football season. Newburn has the best of both worlds, an amazing high school with smart, talented students, and an historic downtown with a variety of shops and businesses that keep Newburn thriving. Don't forget to stop and visit the historic train depot right in the heart of the city. Take a walk or catch a ball game at Oakview Park or just take the kids to play. The city of Newburn, a great place to call home. Go Choctaws! You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, just like that, it's 20 to 19 on a 74-yard run. Now, uh, Tayshawn Allen has eight carries, 121 yards. Now he leads uh, all rushers in yardage. With the first choice farm and loan kickoff, Samuel Palace, who put McCracken County ahead, kicks off. It's going to be a high kickoff. Comes down taking it at the 10-yard line. But Jeffrey Taylor, he still steps, gets by two men, gets to the sideline, and going to run out of bounds. At the 29, they're going to spot it at the 30-yard line. Good return, 20-yard return for Jeffrey Taylor up to the 30-yard line. Jeffrey Taylor, uh, the That's workhorse, a, he, is, he has touched the ball 23 times, carried it 21 for 103 yards. He's got a 37-yard touchdown pass, and right there about a, what, 17-yard return. 
Yeah, well, with 20 yard return, or 20 we, we yard, took, yeah. took it at the 10, brought it up to the 30. That's you know, right. the first two times, he, or the first three times he kicked off, he kicked it in the end zone. And this time, uh, the next time he had a uh, onside kick, this time he kicked it short, and we got a good return up to the 30. Handoff this time, Jeffrey Taven got an opening right at the line of scrimmage across the 35, and he's going to run out of bounds uh, to the 37, 38 yard line. See where they spot it, about the 38 yard line. So uh, an 18 yard, uh, eight yard pickup for Jeffrey Taylor. And I'll tell you what, Jeffrey's not uh, spending his energy when he gets to the sideline. He's stopping. That's right. <laughs> you know, he's not running down the sideline. And I guess he realizes he's going to be the host tonight. He's got to carry the load, and he doesn't want to expend energy. He doesn't have to. He's going to spend it, expend it on the field of play during the play. Second down and two for Dyer County. Pitch to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try the right side. Outside, he's going to try to get give ground in. He can't do it. He can't get around it as he's taken down about the 35-yard line, a loss of three on the play. So Gaines is going to throw Jeffrey Taylor for a three-yard loss, and they've got a flag on the play on the far, far side, they said. Maybe it's a face mask or something. It would be nice. Personal, Personal foul, foul, face, face mask. mask. Yes, sir. Okay, McCracken County. That's their first 15-yard penalty. Well, no, they had a 15-yard penalty and an interference. Interference in the end zone. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I missed it. Okay. It's a good thing I'm here to keep you straight. I'm <laughs> glad you are. <laughs> 65 yards on nine penalties. Okay. That's going to be stepped out. Uh, we lost three yards on play because of the face mask. We've got a Henson Insurance first down as the ball is going to be moved into McCracken County Territory at the 49-yard line of McCracken County. First down and 10 for Dyer County. 11-20 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County trailing now 20-19. Jake Willis at quarterback. Wide receiver to each side. Two running backs in the backfield along with Willis. And off this time, right up the middle, and he's going to try the right side. Gets a... Ooh, Piled up to the 46, 47-yard line. I think I'm going to spot it at the 47. Hunter Taylor. Let's see where they're going to spot it. They're going to give his forward progress up to the 46-yard line. So a three-yard pickup that time by Hunter Taylor. Second down and seven. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor, and he started, goes to the left side, and then stutter step back to the right. He's going to get down to about the 42-yard line where he's going to be driven back. A nice little pickup that time before he, they make contact with him and they drive, drive him back. I think they're going to give him forward, forward progress to the 43. So it's going to bring up third down and four. Ball spotted at the 43-yard line of McCracken. Dyer County trailing. 20 to 19 with 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County with their first possession of the second half. Two wide receivers each side. Jake Willis at quarterback. Jeffrey Taylor running back alongside him in the backfield. Back to pass, looking downfield, rolling to the right side, looking downfield, looking downfield, giving up, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe pick up a yard or two. But didn't have anybody open downfield, and that... That's going to be considered a sack. It's going to be a secondary sack because we didn't have anybody open downfield. He picked up about two yards on the play. Fourth down and two yards to go for a first down for Dyer County. And as Dyer County's done all night, when they've gotten across the 50-yard line, they're going to go for it. Yeah, Caden Stafford, normally the punter for Dyer County, and they have punted one time tonight, but uh, most usually they're going to go for it. Yeah. Deion Thompson lining up a wave right to the left. The ball's on the right hash mark, and Deion's to the left of the left hash mark. Hand off Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor's going to be thrown for a loss. Oh. Uh, and his ball couldn't get go. away. Yep. He tried to back up and get around and couldn't do it. And he went down to one knee, and that was it. A loss of a yard on, on the play. The ball's going to go over to McCracken County at the 43-yard line. So That's his 25th carry, and we are uh, 8.48 in the third quarter. That is a good night for, for any running back, and here we've still got a lot of ball game left. Yeah. 
But the ball goes over on downs. Dyer County gave it up. McCracken County starts over on their own 43-yard line, first down and 10. Wheat, the quarterback, gives off to the second man through, and he's going to get up to across the 45-yard line. Short pickup in the middle of the field. Hamby picks up down to the 45, so a two-yard pickup. McCracken County once again quick out of them, trying to run into plays, and this time Wheat rolling to his right, giving ground, and we gave him a way too much pressure, and he couldn't do anything with it, given the pressure that time for Dyer County was Adam Williams. And he was just running. Third down and eight for McCracken County. As they come up the line of scrimmage, they're ready to snap and ready to run a play. Dyer County's defense doesn't have time to get said, make many adjustments. Double wide receiver on each side. He back to pass. We looking across the middle, and he throws it, and it's going to be deflected and incomplete. Yeah, and they were lucky that uh, Nick Butler didn't pick that yeah. one off. Butler came closer to catching it than that was actually Garrett, Garrett Sawyer. I'm was sorry, Sawyer? 21. I'm sorry, my bad. And so Sawyer came closer to picking it off and making the catch than any of their receivers did. So it's going to bring up fourth down and eight for McCracken County at their own 45-yard line, and so they're. In punt formation, we have a turn man back at the 21-yard line. Good snap, good pressure, and he gets it off. High wobbly kick, hits down about the 30-yard line, rolls inside the 25 to about the 22-yard line, where it's down by McCracken County. So it's going to be Dyer County ball, first down and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Well, Deion Thompson back wisely got away from it because he couldn't run in under it and, and – uh catch it so no, they had, wisely let it go they had good coverage just get away from it yes they did it was a high punt yeah it hung, yeah. hung a lot of hang time there yeah, and when you got good coverage get away you don't need to take a chance on that's right we don't have enough experience catching punts like that the sure-handed return people they used to catching dozens of them a day we're not first down 10 dyer county back to pass Jake Willis, he's going to throw it long. Got a man over there to the right side. And it's caught by Deion Thompson. And he steps out of bounds right at the 50-yard line. So a first and 10 for Dyer County. Another Henson Insurance Company first down. And that was an over-shoulder catch, a back-shoulder catch for a 29 yard completion. Deion Thompson. So a Henson first down. Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. Moves the ball to the 50-yard line. 8.03 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County trailing. 20 to 19. Been an exciting ball game up here in McCracken County. Jack Willis back to pass, looking downfield, moves over, changes his pocket, throws it across the middle, and it's going to be incomplete as it's bouncing around. And we're going to have a late hit. I don't know whether it's a late hit, a targeting hit, or what. But a flag comes in after the pass is incomplete. Yeah, they, he missed it. He just, uh, he just, I don't think that was a targeting. I think he just pushed him after the ball had already gone by. A late hit. Yeah. Personally. But it'll be a major, so yeah. it'll be a 15-yard penalty. But we'll take it. That'll be another hits the insurance first down. And we should have a dead ball personal foul. 80 yards and 10 penalties yeah. now. Last three have been 15-yarders, and yet that is the third. Brian Henson insurance first down for this half. They have had, uh, Dyer County has had, uh, 14 so far in this game. That's going to move the ball down to the 35-yard line of McCracken County. Dyer County trailing 20 to 19, 7.55 remaining in the third quarter. As Jake Willis is <clears throat> the quarterback for Dyer County in the spread offense, we have one wide receiver to the left side. That's Bryce Caps. Two wide receivers to the right. Hand off Jeffrey Taylor up the middle. He's dances around. He's got an opening here. Across the 30, inside the 25-yard line. And let's see where his forward, forward progress. And they're going to spot it down at the 20, 21-yard line. A big pickup that time of Jeffrey Taylor as he got a quick uh -oh. opener up the middle. There, uh, this one may come back. They got sent a flag. a flag on the play. I didn't see the flag this time. It's uh, over by the uh, first down marker. Okay. On the far side. Step off five yards against Dyer County. Did you see what the referee said? I did not signal? see what the call was. Okay. 30 yards on four penalties. Dyer County's been okay. penalized. 
first penalty of this half. Okay, so it brings it back first down and 15. The ball spotted now at the 40-yard line of McCracken County. The Mustangs from McCracken County, Paducah, Kentucky. Dyer County with 14 seconds left on the play clock. They're looking to the sideline, getting the plays from on the sideline. They came from upstairs. Bryce Caps moving in. A little tighter than he was. Willis back to pass. Flare over to Jeffrey Taylor over the right flat. And he's going to be taken down for a loss on the play. As he was second and 15. Let's see where the ball is going to be spotted. It looks like about the 41-yard line. So a loss of a yard on the play. So it's second down and 16. As the ball is now back at the 41-yard line. Jake Willis in at quarterback for Dyer County. Since what, about the second quarter? He, uh, yeah, the last couple of minutes of the second quarter. He led that uh, last drive after mm. the Deion Thompson uh, interception. Three, three wide receivers to the left. One to the right. Jeffrey Taylor running back along with Jake Willis at quarterback. Jake Willis has it, gives it to Jeffrey Taylor. He gets up the line of scrimmage and gets across to the, about the 39-yard line. A very short pickup, maybe two yards on the play. As we had trips over to the left side, and that didn't fool anybody. Third down and 14 for Dyer County. Dyer County trailing by one, 20 to 19. 6.15 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County flip-flopping their wide receivers. Deion Thompson now to the left side. Caps well to the right. Willis back to pass. We've got a screen pass to the right side. Jeffrey Taylor, he gets it at the 40, across the 35, and going to be driven out of bounds way short of the first down. We have to get to the 25-yard line for the first down. So it's going to bring up a fourth down. Ball is going to be spotted at the 34-yard line, so a five-yard pickup that time for Dyer County. And it's still going to bring up a fourth down and nine. And as we've done every possession since we've been across the 50-yard line, we're going to go for it on fourth down. So we have three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Taylor in the backfield along with Willis. Willis back to pass, looking downfield, throwing across the middle. He's got Thompson on the left side, and it's going to be incomplete. And we've got a flag on the pay, play over here at the 26-yard line. Do we have a knee legal receiver downfield or lineman downfield or holding, hopefully, against them? But we'll have to see what the Ill Ill illegal receiver downfield. That's what I was afraid of when the, where the flag was thrown from. I was afraid we had a lineman downfield. So the ball goes over on downs once again. That's the third time we've turned the ball over on downs tonight. It is, but it's uh, only it, it, in 20 to 19. So that's a, that's showing a lot of confidence in the Dyer County defense. Yeah. Well, we've, we've shown a lot of intestinal fortitude this year. And we have. But we gave up that long touchdown First play of the you, second yeah, half. Yeah, you take that play back, and, and there's still no score yep. in the second half. I hand off this time once again to the tailback, and he gets an opening on the right side. And that's their really good running back, Allen. Ta Tayshawn Allen, as he picks up down to the 42-yard line. So second down and two. Pick up of eight yards for Allen. And they quickly get the ball. Pass over to the le left side. It's complete. He's got enough for the first down. He gets to the sideline and driven out of bounds. And the <laughs> McCracken fans in front of us, they want him to stay in bounds and run down the sideline. And we've got a flag on the play, and hopefully that's a holding call. I was going to say, it, if it was anything, it was a holding on. Yep. Uh, yep. yep. That's what I thought. So that first down play is going to be brought back. That's enough for the first down, but they're going to bring it back, step it off. That's 90 yards in penalties for McCracken County on 11 penalties. So instead of a first down, they're going to have a second down. They're going to spot it back, uh, what, about six yards to go for the first down. The ball is spotted at the 38. They've got to get up to their own 44-yard line. So second down and six. Wheat, the quarterback. Back to pass, looking up down across the middle. It's going oh. to be deflected and almost intercepted. 
That was Dyer County's uh, number 34, Evan Thomas, the junior. Thought, linebacker almost had it. I he thought, almost had it. I thought Evan had it that time because it was thrown right to him, and he batted it down and almost picked it off. Brings up third down and six. But a really good effort that time by uh, Evans, Evan Thomas. Third down and six from McCracken County as they quickly get up the line of scrimmage. Quarterback Wheat in the backfield by himself. Looking downfield, across the middle. It's complete at the 48-yard line. It gets across the 50, and he's going to be brought down at that point, but he has enough for the McCracken County first down. Maisie Yo on the catch. And they're quickly up to the line of scrimmage, and they're going to quickly snap the ball. They, they do things in a hurry. The chain wasn't even set. And the quarterback, he's flushed out of the pocket. Wheat, and he's got some running room on the left side, and he's going to be brought down about the 45-yard line as he gets into, he's in Dyer County territory. Well, the ball was snapped on the 49, so they were already in Dyer County territory, but he picks up about three yards on the play as Dyer County once again gave Wheat pressure but couldn't get to him as he's a pretty quick little sophomore. Elijah Wheat snapped the ball Moved over the left side, and he's going to be brought down for a two-yard loss. Allen, and we throw him for a two-yard loss. And anytime we can stop Allen for a loss, it's a good thing. Yes, it is. He is quick. Oh, man, he's quick. He's there, Jeffrey Taylor. Yeah, third down and nine as the ball is now at the 48-yard line of Dyer County. They've got to get to the 39 of Dyer County. They're moving people around. They've got three wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Wheat in the backfield by himself. Shotgun formation. Back to pass, rolling to the right side, looking downfield, looking downfield. Throws it to the sideline, and he's got a man open on the sideline. And that's a number 21, Shear. Landon Shear. That's the first completion to him, a 10-yard completion, and another first down. That's their 10th. Well, he's listed as a tight end, and he's lining up as a wide receiver. But a first down for McCracken County. 4-0-4 remaining in the third quarter. McCracken County on top, 20-19. to Two running backs in the backfield. Shear in motion from the right to the left. Hand off to Allen coming back to the right side. And he gets across the 35-yard line and knocked out of bounds. About the 32-yard line. So it brings up a second down. Picked up about, what, five yards on the play. So second down and five for McCracken County. As they have one wide receiver, the ball's on the right hash mark and wide receiver way on the other side of the left hash mark. Man in motion from the right to the left. Hand off to Allen. We have him in the backfield slung down. And did you get a... It looked like that was number 30. I didn't I didn't Glenn. see it real well, but Darrell Glenn, I Darrell believe, Glenn, I, made I, that I believe it was too. After I saw him get up, I saw him run. That looked like Darrell. Darrell Glenn on the tackle. Thrown, threw him for a loss back to the original line of scrimmage back at the 38-yard line. So it's going to be third down and 10. And what we got? They stopped the clock for something. Now we're going. See what McCracken County is going to do here. Two wide receivers to each side. One running back in the backfield with Wheat, the quarterback. And they try to get us to jump offside. And oh, but he got back. I don't think he was across the neutral zone. Did he cross it? Uh, they threw the flag like he did. Oh, uh, no. I don't know whether he broke that neutral zone or not. Looks like from here. And the guy on this side didn't drop a flag. No. And it was the guy on this side that they said got in the neutral zone, I thought. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, all right. Well, all right. Well, five-yard penalty against Dyer County, third down and five. Uh, so we, they got that five yards back that we just glanced through them for a loss. Back to passes. Wheat looking to the right side. Pass across the middle. Intercepted again by Dyer County. Up to the 15-yard line. He's still on his feet. And all this time he's going to be brought down. But Dyer County intercepted. And did you catch the number? Nick Butler. Nick no, Butler. I'm sorry. Garrett Sawyer. Sawyer. I'm sorry. I keep you, confusing you, you, them again. You keep giving it Butler when it's Sawyer. Yep. But yep. good Sawyer, job. Sawyer, that's right. Good hands that time on an interception by Garrett Sawyer. 
And Dyer County has possession at their own 16-yard line, first down and 10. Trailing in this ball game, 20 to 19, with 2.54 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County once again takes over. Good possession, a good interception, and gives Dyer County the possession. First down and 10. Two running backs alongside Jake Willis. One wide receiver to each side. And uh, fake the cross buck this time. Hunter Taylor has it. He's crossed the 20, up to about the 25-yard line. And it's going to be a short of the first down, but just a little bit. Hunter Taylor did a good job on a little counter that time. Fake it to Jeffrey Taylor, hand it to Hunter Taylor. And he's going to pick up about eight yards on the play. So he's brought down at the 24-yard line. Second down and two for Dyer County. Line up in the same formation. One wide receiver each side. Two running backs in the backfield with Jake Willis. Hand off this time to Hunter Taylor as he gets across the right side. And he's going to be real close to the first down as we had to get to the 26-yard line. And they look like they're spotting it about the 27. We'll see the forward progress. They're waving them on. First down and 10 for Dyer County. Another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. 2.15 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County trailing by one, 20-19. Um, spotted at the 27-yard line of Dyer County. Same formation. Two running backs. This time, Jack Willis back to pass. Looking across the middle. Got Deion Thompson. Deion Thompson it. catches it at the 45-yard line. He breaks a, a tackle. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. We got a flag. Oh, and no. he's across the end zone. And what in the world was a flag thrown over here on this sideline? But a great job that time by Dan Thompson making the catch and a long run. Let's wait and see what this flag was for. It was on the sideline, and it was way behind the play. And it doesn't look like they're bringing it back at all. That flag's still laying there. Yes. Now, now the officials explained to the white hat what, what he had over here. And he might, I don't know whether it's going to be a sideline warning or what. But a great catch and run that time. Jake Willis to Deion Thompson. Deion Thompson caught it, shook a couple people, and was right. off to the races. And the flag was thrown, what, about the 40, uh, about the 35-yard line. Let's see what the official still says. still on the ground. Sideline warning. Yep. Sideline okay. warning. Woo, All woo, right. woo. We'll take that. Because it was way behind the play, and he was running down the sideline, and it was a sideline warning. They got to scoot back. They got Our to county may be going for two here. Well, looks like they are. That would make sense. 25 to 20 now with 146 remaining in the third quarter. And that was a West Family Care Clinic touchdown for Dyer County. Now we're going for the Silas Seamless Gutters extra point. Going for two. Jack Willis, the quarterback, with spread route all over wide. He's rolling to the right, rolling to the right, looking in the end zone. And the ball is thrown. And the Good. ball and is caught for the two-point conversion. I don't know who caught it over there. There was a crowd in that corner. But I can assure you it was a Dyer County player because yes. the point after is good, and that makes it 27 to 20. Ooh, we need Dyer that. County. We sure did. With 146 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County up now by seven. Let's take a 30 second break reminding you this is Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. This is Patrick Williams from Johnson Williams Funeral Home in Newburgh. As a graduate of Dyer County High School, I am proud of the tradition that comes with being a Choctaw. Like being a Choctaw, we at Johnson Williams Funeral Home are proud of our tradition of serving our friends and neighbors for 60 years. Johnson Williams Funeral Home, the funeral home that cares and proud to support Dyer County Athletics. Go Choctaws! You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Bubba Cobb, Dyer County doesn't show any uh, signs of being tired. What do you think? Ooh, I'll tell you what, they've got to keep going, though. 27-20, Dyer County leading in the ball game, and we're waiting for the first choice farm and long kickoff by Trent Uhas, and it's a pooch kick, and it's going to be taken at the 35-yard line, a fair catch, so it's going to be McCracken County ball at their own 35-yard line. And this has been a fun football game. Certainly has. We're starting to get into football weather, and and, and I just I, I haven't said anything about the crowd. Dyer County really bought a nice crowd up here. Certainly did. They have a large, large visitors uh, 
I mean, the whole uh, right-hand uh, section over there is uh, the band came, yep. band and then came. quite a few fans. So, so uh, we got a nice, nice crowd that came up here. We got about as many as they do. Well, they, well they, yeah, they got no, more they, than we But do. this, this bleacher goes way on down there. That's right. <laughs> I, I saw that when I stuck my big head out yeah, there. Yeah, but our county needs to make a stop here. McCracken County has possession at their own 35-yard line. We're going to hand off to the first man through, and he gets across the up to about the 40-yard line as he pile drives right up the middle. Uh, picks up about five yards, and I guess that was Allen. Uh, Allen once again takes it. Wheat, the quarterback, did a big thing like a pitch and gives it back to Allen, and he ran it right up the middle for five yards. Second down and five. Wide receivers each side. Snap is low. This time hands off to Allen once again up the middle, and he's going to get across the 50, and we're going to bring him down, but he picks up a way a plenty for the first down as he just exploded through the Dark County line that time and got into Dark County territory, and the ball is spotted right in front of us. We're at the 44-yard line of Dark County. There's a third first down of the second half, the 12th total for McCracken County. Well, that was, that was very similar to when they were breaking for that touchdown the first play of the mm -hmm. half. A low snap once again, this time handoff to Allen, and he breaks right through the middle of the line once again, and he's going to be enough for another first down. As he bang banged away, it's just straight handoff right up the middle. And 167 he, yards on 14 carries. Hey, Sean Allen. Mm -hmm. 55 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County up 27 to 20. Uh, Wheat, the quarterback in the backfield by himself. Man in motion, handoff to the man in motion. He's going to try to just sweep to the right side, and it didn't pick up much. As we stay at home. And Evan Thomas on the stop and did a good job staying at home and put him down for after a one-yard pickup. 28 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And they're slowing down. They're looking to the sideline to get a, get a play. Wide receivers to each side. Two men in the backfield. One of them in motion. Fake. Pitch, hand off to Allen, and I'll tell you what, when they fake that, uh, I guess they're getting the linebacker to stand up, and he's going right up the middle and picking up quite a bit on that quick opener. Pick up down to the 25-yard line, and that is the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three, Dyer County is leading in the ball game, 27-20. to 20. Let's take a one-minute break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Hi, I'm Craig Ezreal president and CEO of First South Financial. At First South, our members trust us with their paychecks, their savings, even their futures. That's why we offer a complete line of banking services ranging from checking and savings accounts to home, auto, and personal loans with lower rates, flexible terms, and no hidden fees. Experience the positive difference of banking with First South Financial. Banking with friends since 1957. Hi, I'm Craig Ezreal, President and CEO of First South Financial. At First South, our members trust us with their paychecks, their savings, even their futures. That's why we offer a complete line of banking services ranging from checking and savings accounts to home, auto, and personal loans with lower rates, flexible terms, and no hidden fees. Experience the positive difference of banking with First South Financial. Banking with friends since 1957. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. There we go, Bubba. Back in McCracken County High School where they hand off to Tayshawn Allen once again. He's going to try the right side, and once again, he gets about five yards on the play, and it's going to be enough for another McCracken County first down. First play of the fourth quarter, Dyer County on top, 27 to 20. 11.43 remaining in the ball game. Wheat has it, hands off the running back, going to the left side, and he's going to be hit right at the 20-yard line and brought down. Good job by the Dyer County defense that time. That was uh, number 22, Hamby. Ham Hamby brought down, and who was he brought down by? Adam Williams, number 11 for Dyer County. Good job that time by Adam Williams. Staying at home. Short gain on the play, maybe a yard if that. Man in motion. Fake to him. Hand off Allen right up the middle. He's going to squirm through and get across the 15-yard line. And they're going to give him his forward progress down to the 11. We hit him at the 
as he got to the line of scrimmage, but he squirmed through, and we couldn't get him down, and he did, kept his balance. About an eight-yard pickup. They're going to try wide this time, and they, he's going to outrun us to the pylon. It looks like, no, nope. we're going to bring him down right short of the goal line. He gets plenty for the first down. The first down had to get to about the 10-yard line. And he's going to be tackled, taken out of bounds about the three-yard line. So it's going to be first down and gold for McCracken County. And McCracken County Mustangs are knocking at the door. You feel like whoever gets the ball last yes, wins. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hand off once again to Allen. He's going to be stopped at the five-yard line. Is Dyer County one time. That's time. That was not fooled. That was Dylan Franklin in the backyard, in the backfield, and grabbed him. By his leg and did not let go. Loss of two on the play as the ball is now spotted at the five-yard line. Dylan Franklin did a great job getting the penetration and getting a sure-handed tackle. That's one thing Coach Whittle said he's been striving all year to make sure we make that tackle, get the tackle. And that time we did. Second down and gold from the five. One running back in the backfield along with Wheat. We gets it, hands off to Allen, and he's going to be snowed under once again at the five-yard line. Good job. Once again, Dyer County penetrated and didn't let him get him, get through the line of scrimmage. And that was uh, Dyer County's number 34, Evan Thomas, yes, made sir. the tackle. So I'll tell you what, Evan Thomas, we've mentioned his name several times no. and done a good job on defense tonight for us. And several of those guys have stepped up big time. Yeah, how are we going to do the Century Equipment Player of the Game? Because well, a lot of guys on defense, a couple of interceptions, and well, Jeffrey that, Taylor on offense. I'm, how are you going to do it? I'm glad it's your job. No, <laughs> no. Oh, Wheat's going to roll to the left side himself. The naked. Oh, and he's going to try to sneak in. They're going to say he did not get in. They're going to say he went out of bounds before he got to the pylon. Going to be fourth down and one. A fourth down and gold from the one. And. McCracken County fans didn't like that call, and I thought that was a correct call. I don't think he got in. I think he was forced out before he got to the pylon. All right, we've they got, are just inside the one. So we've, we've got a lot of officials up here in the stands. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but McCracken County knocking on the door. Dyer County with a seven-point lead, 27-20, 9-23 remaining in the ball game. McCracken. Fourth down and gold from the one. And they're in the shotgun formation. Allen, the tailback, hand off to Allen. He's going to step into the end zone, go to the left side. And he just steps right on in as he tries to get outside, and he does. So Dyer County now on top by one, 27-26. And let's see what kind of extra point attempt they're going to go to. Uh, they they line up with the, as to kick Looks the ball. Like they're going to kick it. So, Hollis, the kicker, lined up. They don't take much time. 23 seconds remaining on the play clock. The kick is up, and the kick is right down the middle. And the guy, and we've got a tie game. 27-27 with 9-19 remaining in the ball game. Let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. In the market for something new? Hi, I'm Chastity Norville, a lender with Security Bank. We are a community bank with over 85 years of lending experience and success. Whether it is a new car or a small home project, we can help you. We also have a variety of other services for you and your money. Come by our Newburn location and let me see what I can do for you. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, it's tied at 27 right now as Dyer County is going to go back on offense. They've got nine minutes, 19 seconds to get some scores, and hopefully they'll do it in nine minutes and 17 seconds. And so we'll have Samuel Palace with the first choice farm and lawn kickoff. Going to kick off to Dyer County. So Dyer County, it's been back and forth tonight with McCracken County and Dyer County. It's all tied up, 27-27. Powell's kick coming down. It's going to be, come down at the five-yard line, taken at that point up to the 10, 15. Trying to go to the left side, gets to the sideline, 25, up to the 30, and spun out of bounds. And it's going to be Dyer County ball. 
And Deion Thompson on the carry and gets Dyer County some pretty good field position let's here. Let's see where they're going to spot it on the far side as they bring the ball in. You know, as good a runner as he is, I'm surprised they don't use the end around much. Maybe yeah. it just takes too long to develop. Yeah. Well, they're going to spot the ball at the 31-yard line. That's where I thought he ran out of bounds, but I wasn't sure until they spotted it inside. First down and 10 for Dyer County at their own 31-yard line. Wide receiver to the right, none to the left. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor's going to try the left side. He gets an opening down the right sideline and gets across the 50-yard line, knocked out of bounds. And he goes all the way over and sits down sits on down. the bench <laughs> <laughs> behind the cheerleaders. Well, he might need to take a, a few seconds rest as he gets another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County as we have the ball into Crockett County territory at the 49-yard line. First down and 10 for Dyer County at the McCracken County 49-yard line. 9.03 remaining in the ball game. Tie score 27-27. Jake Willis, quarterback, hands off to Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor up the middle across the 45 to about the 44-yard line. Pick up about five yards on the play. 28 carries, 135 yards for JT. A workhorse. Man. And he's been the pass receiver. He's... Return kickoffs. And he's had a gimpy ankle all uh, all game. Yeah. Uh, I say all game, all uh, all season. He hurt himself in practice earlier in the year and uh, tweaked it a couple of times in some of the earlier games. But, yeah, just, man, he's been a workhorse. Just think if he had been healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second down and five yards to go for Dyer County. Uh, fake to pitch to Jeffrey Taylor and hand off to Hunter Taylor, and he's going to be thrown for losses. That wasn't very well protected. That's it. Big fake to Jeffrey Taylor in an inside counter. Well, uh, and, and um, McCracken County was not fooled. Uh -uh. No, they, they got penetration. We didn't get a good enough block as they got penetration over there, Hunter. Taylor didn't have a chance on that. No. Ball back at the 47-yard line now of McCracken County. Third down and eight for Dyer County. As down to seven seconds on the play clock five seconds and we we're just now getting set three seconds jake willis gets the snap off back to pass looking over the left side he's got oh right side and he had a man over there and just couldn't quite get it to deon thompson deon thompson just led him a little bit too much on that play i think they got that play in a little quicker and giving jake a little more time to take the snap and read the get defense set. yeah, yeah. But it's fourth down in Dyer County as they have all game across the 50-yard line. They lined up to go for it. Now, one time tonight, they do them all sides and picked up the first down, but we have eight, too yard, far this time, eight yeah. yards to go for the first down here. Fourth down and eight. Wide receiver to each side, two running backs to backfield. Pitch back to Jeffrey Taylor. We're going to throw it again. Jeffrey Taylor throwing it long to Deion Thompson. Deion Thompson, ooh, the ball is in and out of his hands. That was deflected by the defender. Yeah. Uh, did a really good job. Pretty good pass, but a really good job on the defense back there. As that ball was almost caught by Dan Thompson, but that's the last second knocked away. So it's going to be first down and 10 for McCracken County at their own 47-yard line. 7-29 remaining in the ball game. Tie score 27-27. McCracken County coming back out on offense once again. Dyer County led here at halftime, 19 to 13. And it's been a back and forth ball game tonight. Man in motion gets the ball from running to the left side. That's going to be, oh, and he's going to be thrown for a loss back here at the 39-yard line. And that was Franklin Hayes. Yeah, and that one may come back because that, uh, that may have been a horse collar. Oh. That uh, flag was thrown right in there, and that's they, they spun him down pretty hard. Personal foul. Horse, Horse collar. collar. yeah. Yep. I figured. Mm. So we threw him for a six-yard loss on the play, but it's uh, – That's going to turn yeah. out to be a 15-yard gain yeah. and a first down. Yeah, so it's going to be a long walk off for him. And that is the 15th cost, first down. From and, we didn't, and we didn't need a horse collar on that to bring him down. No. We had him surrounded. We did. He we was did. in the grasp. We, we had him taken down. 
Uh, it's not a first down. It's not yeah, enough it for the first down. No, it's, but not, it's, it's still first down. St right. Still first down. First down and two. Uh, Wheat has the ball, hands off the first man through, and he's going to get across enough for the first down, and that was not Allen. Hemby, once again, on the carry. He gets enough for the first down as the – Got the ball up to the 43-yard line of Dyer County. Wheat has Hamby in the backfield with him, and they snaps the ball. And a yep, whistle procedure. Is, and it's going to be a penalty against. No, I don't know whether it's a penalty or right. the shot of the play clock did not start. Per a timeout. My time? Yeah. Okay. The, I don't know whether the play clock. Oh, it's 71 minutes left in the ball game. That's the problem. 71 minutes left in the ball game. We're going to be here a while. I don't think I want to stay that long. I don't either. They do. I want it to be over right after Dyer County scores the next touchdown. Yeah. I just looked up there because the play clock's right. You know, and then I looked at the game clock. has 71 minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the game. Don't think that's correct. Do you remember what it was? I do not, yeah. but uh, I do. I do remember one time we had some uh, students at a basketball game uh, running it when we were on the road. Uh, one ooh, time, you remember ooh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Couldn't uh, couldn't get it stopped, and we ended up we ran about 30, 35 seconds off at mm. the end of the game. Mm -hmm. We end up that was a uh, mess. Mm. So they they can't get it reset. They're talking to them upstairs. Hey, of course, in Dyer County's press box, we're all in one room, but no. here here we're we can fuss it, Mr. Fessmeyer. Mr. Fessmeyer, will you fix the clock, yeah. please? And he'll do it. But here we, we're Steve on, Dodds will tell him. We've got our own little section here. Um, and the host radio station, they've got their own section. And mm -hmm. then the PA announcers, they have their own little area. And it's uh, they're all separated. And we have our own air conditioner, our own windows. And the only thing we don't have is our own food, food bar back here. So I'm not going to like this. If they keep the time on the field, that is not going to be good. Uh, yeah, we, that happened to uh, Kenny Cogdell and I at Brownsville one time. Boy, and that makes it very, very difficult. And I can't keep it on here uh, with the uh, streaming because I can't sync it with the clock. Well, 708, got, there we got go. 708 got on the clock now. But if they keep it on the field and we can't see the clock running, that's not good for us. Okay, first down, uh, first down and 10 for McCracken County. Seven minutes remaining in the ball game as... They line up two wide receivers to each side. The ball on the left hash mark. One running back, Hamby, behind the quarterback, Wheat. Man in motion, Hamby. Wheat back to pass, getting pressure, pass off. Man it is complete over the left side, and he gets away from our man, and all the way down the sideline, he steps out of bounds. And he's going to be, ball's going to be out of bounds about the 14 yard line. And that's number 17, Lawson Parrish, one of the many seniors they have planned tonight. And I'll tell you what, he got by our defender and was off to the races down the sideline. And Had he, he not stepped out of bounds, he would have tiptoed in the end zone easy. untouched. But he stepped out of bounds. And I don't think McCracken fans all saw it, but I did. He stepped out at 14. Well, and, and that was just he wasn't aware of where he was yeah. on the on the field. No. He was looking at that pylon yeah, trying he, to get there. He didn't have to step out. I mean, it, it was just right. There, there was no nobody forced him there out. There was no That's pressure right. there to step out. But I'm glad he did. It gives us an opportunity to stop him here. First down and 10 at the Dyer County 14-yard line. And they're going to step it off. Uh, there was a penalty against Dyer County for something. I was looking at the clock and did not see the signal from the official. But Whatever I, that was, this right here was the signal. Personal foul, I'm sure. Uh, hand off to the left side, and we're going to throw him down for a loss as the ball was spotted. Allen, and he's going to be thrown for a loss back to the eight-yard line. So it's going to bring up second down and gold from the eight. That's the penalty. Move the ball down to seven. It was a half the distance of the goal line, it looked like. So the ball is now spotted at the eight. Two, two running backs in the backfield along with Wheat. And they hand off to Allen. He's going to get to the five and punch the cross to about the four-yard line. 
So it's going to be bring up third down and go from about the four-yard line. Tayshawn Allen, he's the workhorse running back for 20 Crack carries, 184 yards. 6-11 remaining in the ball game. Tie score, 27-27, but McCracken County at the Dyer County four-yard line. Third down and goal. Ten seconds on the play clock. Seven seconds. They come up to the line of scrimmage. Wheat, the quarterback. Allen, backfield, handoff to Allen. He's going to try the right side. He scampers in from four yards out. Touchdown, Tayshawn Allen puts... McCracken County up 33 to 27. And that was a big fake pitch out. That's always that fake. It always goes up the middle and it's always positive yeah. yardage. I don't know well, what I don't know what I, we're missing there. I, I, I think the, the linebackers are standing up when they take that fake. Apparently so. And the extra point attempt by Palace is good. So puts Puts McCracken County on top, 34 to 27, with 5:49 remaining in the ball game. Let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dark County Chata football on Jack FM. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Bubba Cobb, we got to, Ooh, we we got got to come from behind now. We need to score here. The first choice, Farm and Loan, kickoff, Samuel Palace preparing to kick off for McCracken County, Dyer County, with Dan Thompson and Jeffrey Taylor deep. High kickoff, and it's going to be short coming down at the 10-yard line. Jeffrey Taylor has it at the 10. He's over at the left hash mark trying to get outside. Does get by a couple guys, and he's going to be run out of bounds. Let's see. With it. Let's cross the 35-yard line. They're going to spot it up around the 37, 38-yard line. So, again, good field position for Dyer County to start, but they don't need to give it up on downs as they have three times thus far in this game. Well, 540 remaining in the ball game, Dyer County – now trailing by a touchdown, 34-37. Well, and it's going to be um, touchdown. I mean, it's going to be uh, four down territory wherever they are yes. now. Yes, Wide receiver, Deion Thompson, wide right. The caps wide left. Two running backs to backfield along with Jake Willis. Jake Willis has it countered, and Hunter Taylor is going to be hit for a loss. My line of scrimmage was the 38. Let's see where they're going to give him his forward progress. Probably about the 36. Yeah, they're going to give him forward progress up to the 36. Two-yard loss on the play as we didn't have much of a hole there. Tried a little counter that's been effective for us tonight, and that time it didn't work. 5-11 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County trailing 34 27, Jake Willis' uh, screen pass is going to be incomplete and probably a good thing. I think that would have been a loss, been loss yeah. if he had made a completion. So it brings up third down in 12 for Dyer County. And the screen pass was usually effective against a team that puts a lot of pressure on you. But at that time, you need to slow them down just a little bit. At yeah, we've got we've to do a better job of blocking on the line and – the, the the linebackers uh, last uh, couple of pass plays have gotten uh, gotten through unblocked. Yeah, but if we can get a quick pass off, it'd be nice. Th three receivers to to the right. Jack Willis back to pass. They've got one man. He gave pressure. He got away from him. He's looking downfield. Nobody open. We've got a fire alarm going on, and it's going to be intercepted down down the forty, down the right side, the left sideline. We got to catch him there. Yeah, he gets past the man at the ten. He's going to go all the way in for the touchdown. Uh, interception return for a touchdown against us as oh man that wasn't what we needed that's Chuck. not what we needed no we, nope. we needed a completion there and that time they picked it off and did a great job returning it all the way down the left sideline for the touchdown makes it 40 to 27 and mm. mm -mm -mm. 
4.45 remaining in the ball game. And Dyer County now down by two touchdowns. And extra point attempt for McCracken County coming up. Samuel Palace in to attempt the extra point. Good snap. Ball is down. The kick is up. The kick is good. 41 to 27 now. McCracken County over Dyer County. 4.45 remaining in the ball game. Let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. Ready to quit smoking? Cole Chiropractic is not just spinal adjustments. Dr. Cole uses auricular therapy along with nutrition to provide a fast, safe, and painless way to stop smoking. Stop giving yourself and your family excuses as to why you cannot stop smoking. For less than $200, you can be on your way to kicking butt. Smoking literally affects every organ in the body, so don't... <laughs> monkey around with your health. Decide to be smoke-free and call Cold Chiropractic for more information. Troy Avenue, Dyersburg, 731-285-2696. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, with 4.45 to go, Bubba Cobb, it's a uh, deep, deep hole for Dyer County to dig out of. And we have another first choice farm and loan kickoff for, for Croc, uh, McCracken County. I was hoping that Trent Uhoss would be kicking kicking off here pretty soon, but turns out that McCracken County kicking off again as they intercept and run it back all the way for the touchdown. Put them on top 41 to 27 with 4.45 remaining in the ball game. Now we need to get the ball, we need to score, and we need to score pretty quick. Score quick, score often. They're going to pooch kick it, comes down about the 30 yard line. We're going to take it at the 30. And get up to about the 34-yard line, and he's going to be brought down at that point. A little pooch kick there, run the clock off. And well, they were kicking away from Deion Thompson yeah. and Jeffrey Taylor. They didn't want to take any chances there. And with time running out, time is definitely on Kraken County's well, side. That's, that's advantage when you have a kicker that can kick it through the end zone. Yeah. They've kicked it through the end zone. They've pushed it where they wanted to. They've onside kicked it. I don't know it. why they didn't try it right then to yeah. put them back at the 20. But. Yeah. First down and 10, Dyer County. Going to throw it, swing it out to Jeffrey Taylor on the left side. Jeffrey Taylor's trying to bounce outside. He gets uh, across the 35, up close to the 40 before he goes out of bounds. We'll see where they spot it after went out of bounds. I think they're going to spot it around the 39-yard line. It's going to give him five yards. Five yards on a little swing pass that time. First, uh, second down and five. We got a hold against Dyer County, so I didn't didn't see the flag. I didn't either. But it, well, I see it now laying on the, on the far side. I think right in front of the official on the far sideline. Maybe not. But they called a holding against Dyer County, and let's see whether they want to take the play. They want to take the penalty. What they want to do? And they haven't decided yet. Now they'll bring the ball in from the sideline. And they're going to mark it off. So first and 15 now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be first and 17, would it? Well, they marked off from wherever the holding was. Okay. Brought it back. It's well, according be, to that, it was in Graves County. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. <laughs> Ball was spotted on the 17. Uh, well, it's the on the 27-yard line. First down and 17 for Dyer County. Jack Willis rolling to the left side, looking downfield, looking, looking, looking. Throws it long to Deion Thompson across the middle. He's got it and brings it down at the 35-yard line, and they bring him down. He's going to spot it right at the 35. So that's a 40-yard completion on the dot. So it's going to be first down and 10 for Dyer County. Another Henson Insurance first down. 419 remaining in the ball game. So Dyer County down by two scores, but not giving up by any stretch of the imagination, are they? Jake Willis back to pass, rolling to the right side, looking downfield, looking downfield. He's getting a lot of pressure, and he's going to throw it and tries to throw it to Bryce Caps, and it's going to be deflected. By a really good defensive effort that time by Crane. Crane. And it's going to be 
Bring up second down and 10 for Dyer County. 4.04 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County trailing 41 to 27. See what this a quick, quick ball team we're playing. 2,100 students here at McCracken County High School. They dress out about 90 players. They had 23 seniors on the team this year, senior night. And we're going to have a Bruce Hayes communication timeout for McCracken County. So with timeout, timeout on the field, let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. FM. Save money and plant a tree. Dyersburg Electric encourages you to plant trees to shade your home and your air conditioning unit. Save money on your utility bills now and in the future. Another way to save is to purchase appliances with high energy guide ratings, ensuring that your appliance is hard at work to save you money. Consider a security light on your property too. These energy saving lights can help keep you and your home safe all year long. Dyersburg Electric, your hometown utility, bringing you safe, reliable electricity. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Thank you, Dallas. Welcome back, and uh, we're talking with uh, Dallas Schulteis. He is our uh, camera guy uh, for those uh, of you who are watching us on the uh, stream. And we're we're real proud of Dallas. The yes. job he does here, helping out with us. He went to Boys State this year. Just Straight A student good, good and kid. is in 50 things at school. Yeah. I uh, mean, uh, he good. helps with everything. Yeah. Dyer I think he County, gets it from his mom. Dyer County trailing 41 to 27, 404 remaining in the ball game. Ball spotted at the 35 yard line of McCracken, uh, McCracken County. Jeffrey Taylor has it. He gets to the 35. He bounces back outside. He's going to try the left side, and he's going to dance out of bounds after about a four yard pickup as they're going to spot the ball about the 31 yard line. I'm running out of lines for his. Uh at 29 carries, and I've only got 30 on my chart because I've never had anybody make 30 carries in one game. That's a lot of carries. Yeah, now. 29 carries, 139 yards, not including return yards. Yeah. And we got a stoppage. I can't see what he's saying. He's explaining something, it looks like, to the Dyer County players. Now he's asking the clock operator to do something up, up here. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, they asked him to put some correct the time on the clock. Of course, like we said, in Dyer County, we're, where the, we can hear the communication. In fact, the coaches outside used to come in and, and ask Larry Fassmeyer to correct the clock so we can hear what's going on. Here we can't. They change it, and it's 356 uh, remaining on the clock. So they put uh, 20 seconds back on it. Well, it throws out to Jeffrey Taylor, and Jeffrey Taylor is going to be hammered as he makes the catch at about the 38-yard line. So a loss on the play back to the 38. And Jeffrey Taylor was tackled. He had just as he caught the ball. So that little swing pass didn't work that time for us. Fourth down and 12. As we have the ball at our own at the McCracken County 37-yard line. Here's three, the ball game right here. 325 left in the ball game. Clock running. Yep, we, we've got to get this first down and continue this possession. Two wide receivers to each side. Jeffrey Taylor the backfield with Jake Willis. Willis back to pass, looking downfield. He's getting pressure, throws across the middle, and it's going to be intercepted. And we're going to make the tackle at the 25 yard line. But he was getting killed. Yeah. And he got hit hard. Yeah. He just got rid of the ball. And he threw it across the middle, and it was an And he bounced right up, too. He yeah. took a hard hit Ooh. right there. His protection broke down, and when you don't have the protection, you, you just get rid of it. And that's right. That sometimes that's not good. So three I mean, He stood in there and took that hit, yeah. too. He saw it coming. It was coming right on his nose. And that, that's and a tough thing it. to do. It is. Strong young man. 301 remaining in the ball game. McCracken County has the ball at their own 25 yard line, leading in the ball game 41 to 27. Uh, 14 seconds left on the play clock. As Wheat gets his team back on the field, and Allen, Tayshawn Allen, running back behind him, going to hand off to Tayshawn Allen. He's going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage, and he's going to be brought down. 
And he's brought down by Halliburton. No gain on the play for Allen. He's got 21 carries, 184 yards, Tayshawn Allen. Sure. And a one, two, three, four, five touchdowns. Ooh. Quick, quick back. They line up. Wide receiver each side. Man in motion from the left to the right. Hand off the man in motion. Little jet sweep to the right side. He's trying to get outside. We did a good job of stretching it out. And they, he gets across the 30-yard line. But before he's brought down at the 31-yard line, they stop the clock. And timeout in Dyer County. So a Bruce Hayes communication timeout for Dyer County. Let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. What is happy any hour? It's a revolutionary idea that happy should not be limited to one hour. It's about enjoying good times and great values at McDonald's. For a limited time, any size soft drink is just a dollar. A small McCafe shake, frappe, or smoothie is two bucks. And a refreshing medium Minute Maid slushie is $1.49. Where do you get happy any hour? At McDonald's. A la carte only. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, 2.15 left in this one, Bubba Cobb, and Dyer County is, does not have the ball, so it's going to be a, a tall order. Well, third down and four for McCracken County at their own 31-yard line. Okay. McCracken County's not going to do anything, you know, like they did the other one, uh, yeah. anything stupid. They're yeah. not going to throw it downfield. Well, you can almost bet they're going to hand it off to yeah. Allen. That's right. So hey. if we can get the ball back here, we may squeeze another touchdown out of this one. Man in motion. They're going to fake it to him. They're going to throw it, try to throw it. And we had a man hit the quarterback and miss him. And, and he gets get across the and move up and gets the first down. We hit Wheat in the backfield, and we don't bring him down. And they're going to get enough for the first down. So Elijah Wheat, their sophomore quarterback, who has got a lot more size than our sophomore quarterback. Uh, with uh, the clock running, uh, let's see. Nope, they can't go in victory formation yet. They're going to need a couple. They're going to run a couple of plays. Yeah. They're going to have to. But it's first down off. and 10. And Wheat gives it to Allen. Allen's going to try the left side. He's going to bounce it outside. And he's going to be hit at the 40-yard line and brought down. And he's going to be brought down by uh, Scotty Dillard. <laughs> Scotty Dillard, he turns around. That's an old schedule they had. So first, uh, second down and six yards to go for the first down. Ball spotted at the 40-yard line. One fourteen remaining in the ball game. Going to hand off to Allen once again. He's going to be hit before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. A loss on the play, and Dyer County looks like he's going to call another timeout as they go to stop the clock. And we're going to have another timeout. It looks like. Timeout, Dyer County. So another Bruce Hayes communication timeout on the field. So let's take a thirty-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. FM. Sonic's Cheeseburger and Handmade Onion Rings have been a classic duo for years. Almost as long as these classic duos we can't legally say. Like Bonnie and <laughs> Jekyll and <laughs> and Romeo and <laughs> With Sonic's Car Hop Classic, you can get a cheeseburger and onion rings for $2.99. It's <laughs> Hey, you weren't supposed to bleep that part of <laughs> Seriously? Can we stop with the bleeps? The Sonic Car Hop Classic for $2.99. It's <laughs> That's worse. Okay, I kind of like that one. Tax not included. See menu for details. For a limited time, only at participating Sonic drive-ins. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County trails at 41-27, a minute five to go. They call a timeout as McCracken County has got it third and six and a half. At their own 39 and a half yard line. We, the quarterback, man in motion. Allen, got a little pass over to the left side. That was a play that went for a touchdown a while ago to number 17, Parrish. 
And it goes for a first there. down this time, and that is the 15-17th first down, Lawson. and this will do it. Lawson Parrish, he, he ran for a touchdown on that center pass earlier in the ball game mm -hmm. as we missed that tackle. And that time we made the tackle, but he had enough for the first down. This will be the victory formation here. 50 seconds remaining in the ball game, and they are in the victory formation. As Wheat will get the snap, he's got two running backs in front of him, and he will just take the knee. Gets the ball, takes the snap, and they act like a fake, <laughs> like a snap went over his head, so tailback jumped up in the air like a... Like that was going to fool anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the referees will take their time before they put the ball in play. He's going to spot it. He looks and makes sure it's less than 25 seconds remaining in the game before he puts the ball, spots it ready for play. So that's going to be the last play of the ball game, a loss on the play, and it's academic. A five-yard loss on the play from the snack, a snap. But that's the end of the ball game. 41 to 27, Dyer County falls to McCracken County. McCracken County goes to five and four for the year, and Dyer County drops to three and five. And the last, the next two ball games Dyer County has will be regional games. Next week we go on the road, and then the last ball game will be at home for seem like forever. <laughs> so that let's take correct. A, let's take a three-minute break, and we'll come back and. Wrap it up, and Chuck Asa will have the stats for the ball game. So Dyer County falls in this one, 41 to 27. So let's take a three-minute break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. When you feel like you have to sneeze, but then that feeling goes away. Yeah. Break out the Pepsi. When your parents join your favorite social media platform, but don't send you a friend request. Ooh. Break out the Pepsi. When you're trying to impress your co-workers while in Paris and you order un baguette à jambon and the waiter actually brings you un baguette à jambon. Sors la Pepsi. That's French for break out the Pepsi. Pepsi. Berg's Beverage, your locally owned hometown Dr. Pepper Pepsi bottler for over 80 years. The city of Newburgh wishes the best of luck to the Dr.